welcome to week number four. I'm Sean Parr. I have some amazing family members standing next to me, of course. This is my good friend, Tiffany. She's with us, the Remington. So good to see you. Good to see you. And of course, Nellie and Bryce from the... Are you ready, Jurgies? Are you ready to do this We're this week? We're ready. We're so excited for week four. Let's do it. The Jurgies and, uh, and of course, the Remington's got something very special planned this week in week number four. We don't want to spoil it right now, but just be ready to tweet in to win because there are a <laughs> lot of people that want to be a part of what we're doing here at the national tour so far. As we welcome you to week number four, once again, the ultimate RV show. You know what's amazing? And guys, when you think about numbers, Five and a half million people have tuned in in the last four insane. weeks. So thank you all so, so cool. much for being a special part of our family. And guys, speaking of families, you've been on the road this whole time going from place to place. How's it been in the travels, Bryce? It's been so good. We were on the beaches in Florida. We set up the grill. We're just outside enjoying the sunset. Um, in fact, oh, go ahead. No, I just the campsite. The campsite was right on the beach. Yeah, we were we were right there. So with the patio deck, it was just, it was awesome. And AV actually loved the sand more than we thought she would. If we turned away, she would be doing a, like sand angels in the sand and just playing. And it was a blast. It was good. And that's what it's all about because they do live the lifestyle just like uh, Tiffany, you guys do the lifestyle as well. Yeah. They've got the kids. Tiffany, you have your amazing dog with you and yes. you guys have been enjoying the travels too, right? Oh no, absolutely. It was really fun. We we jammed all the way to Houston really quick, and it was kind of nice that we can just pull over any truck stops, gas stations, and then just take a nap in the back. But we got here, got to see family during COVID times. We were able to sleep in our RV and in their driveway, so it was perfect. Oh, you guys ready for this? We're kicking things off with our fifth wheel segment, and this is some good stuff. The Dutchman Atlas 2992 RLF. If you're ready, so are we. Welcome to week number four. And here we go. This is week four. We are down here in Texas, and folks, I am super excited to kick this show off with fifth wheels built to entertain. First up, we have the Dutchman Atlas 2992 RLF, and this is a gorgeous rear living floor plan with dual opposing slides for that nice big center island. This one comes in dry, a little over 9,100 pounds, almost 9,200, and just shy of 34 foot long. And folks, this is a beauty. If you're looking to entertain people, you want to have guests over, whether it's friends, family, whatever it may be, this is an excellent floor plan for it and coming from a great line. There's a lot of cool things I'm excited here to show you. And as we go through, folks, as always, if you've seen for the rest of the show, or if this is your first time tuning in, if you are interested in the RV we're in, like this one right here, all you have to do is text the word RV to 46642, and that will lock in show pricing. And this price for this unit today for the show is $40,175, which is as little as $9.62 a day. As we're going through, if you like any of the RVs you're seeing, or maybe you just want to get into the RV lifestyle, but you're not sure what you want, that's great. We have specialists standing by to help you navigate through the weeds, to show you what is out there, because we have over 20,000 pieces on the lot with more than 80,000 coming in. All you have to do is text the word FRESH to 46642. Drop FRESH in the comments section below or call us 877-297-8725. Without further ado, let's hop into the Atlas here. And as I said, folks, this one is built for entertaining. And right here in the slide, you can see that right away. You have freestanding table and chairs. Now, I like this over a booth dinette in certain circumstances, right? And uh, when you have a, an RV that's built to entertain, you have one that's made mostly for adults, I prefer the freestanding table and chairs. Why? Well, one, it looks more residential, right? I mean, no doubt about it. While, yes, you know, some of like the, the breakfast nooks and stuff in homes are a little more common with having a booth dinette or like a long bench seat, right? Kind of that farmhouse look is becoming more popular. Most people, um, you know, will have a, a freestanding table and chairs in their home. It's just you generally don't eat at a dinette in your house. So I like having that residential look. Plus, it gives you more space, right, to get in and out. You know, uh, it, look at all. I mean, I have a ton of room right here with a booth dinette. You know, the, the back and the table, you have a stuck amount of space, right? There's only so much room. And if it's a tight fit for you, it's going to be uncomfortable. But here, it's easy to get in and out. So I do enjoy that. And you don't need the sleeping space in here. This one can still sleep four people. If you want guests to stay the night, you have the capability to do that. If you don't want them to stay the night, then just tell them, uh, yeah, it's just a couch. It's not a bed. And then they can leave. <laughs> 
But as we take a look at the slide, you know what? One of the things I did here, I, I ducked out of habit, but honestly, I don't have to. That's another thing uh, with this slide out. I mean, I'm six foot tall and I can stand underneath this slide, which is pretty cool. Uh, a lot of times in fifth wheels, that's not the case. You do have to duck down even, uh, especially in a mid profile like this one is. Uh, a high, you know, full profile is a different story. You know, you should you better be able to go underneath the slide in a full profile, but that's not always the case in the mid. But here at six foot tall, I can get in and out, no problem. The windows all the way around, huge windows. This is a, a trend we're seeing more and more in the, um, the, the fifth wheel and, and actually all RVs is that in lieu of storage, right? Normally you would have storage over the, the seating space, sometimes even over the dinette, right? Like if you look at some of the older fifth wheels, you'll have storage all the way across the slide. But here they got rid of storage and instead they went with bigger windows to let in more light. I personally like it. You know, I know people are a little, you know, a little uh, torn, right? And that's one of those things we can help you, we help you out with. If you want storage, instead of bigger windows, we absolutely have fifth wheels that have a very similar layout that will have storage up top for you. If that's something you're interested in, let us know, folks. Again, just text the word FRESH to 46642. We can help you out, help you navigate, and find the perfect fifth wheel for you. One of the things we saw in that slide, though, is the theater seating. And this, again, is becoming very popular. You want to talk about entertainment space, well, a lot of times when you're entertaining, you're watching something on the TV, you know, whether it's uh, the Longhorns game or whether you're just, you know, sitting back here, just throwing a movie on. Maybe the grandkids are coming in. You want to put on, you know, Frozen 2. Well, you can do that right there on the TV and everyone can sit around and watch, whether you're sitting in the, the freestanding table and chairs, here in the theater seating or back on the sofa. Everyone has a view to that TV. Both of these recline, of course, so you can kick back and relax if it's just two of you. You have cup holders there, storage for remotes right there in the center, and it is just extremely comfortable. Allure Furniture, so upgraded furniture brand. Um, you know, you, you'll see, start to see more and more manufacturers getting away from some of the more, more common furniture brands that we've seen. I'm not gonna name any, but uh, you know, Allure Furniture is, uh, you know, again, we're starting to see that in more RVs, a little bit more upgraded. Right there in the back, you will see the sofa. And as I mentioned, folks, this does fold out. It's a tri-fold sofa that folds out into a bed. So if you want that additional sleeping space, you have it here. You will also see on both sides are your end tables so that if you have a beverage or anything like that, you can set it there. Uh, right down below is your electrical outlet as well as USB port. You need to plug anything in, boom, there you go. Again, windows all the way around and talk about storage up top. There it is, right? So, you know, if they didn't put storage here, it'd probably be a waste of space. So they did put your storage up top, still accessible. You know, it's not like it's super high. At six foot, I can still easily get up there. LED lights, you'll see right here. Your AC unit, right? Gotta make sure you keep everything cool, plus a max air fan with a rain sensor. So if it starts raining, that, that max air fan is going to go ahead and close. That way you don't end up with a bunch of water all over the floor if you're gone. But that will do a great job of pulling air through here. I'm telling you, if, if you wanna do a quick test, right? Because a lot of people don't believe me. Turn on your max air fan and open a window just a little bit and you will feel the air getting pulled in through here because of that max air fan. It is very impressive if you've never done it before. Taking a look at the off camp side slide, as I mentioned, that big TV storage right up top, plus our entertainment center down below and a fireplace. That way you can keep nice and toasty, do a good job of kind of taking the chill off in the air in this main space. Plus, it just looks really nice. Right here in the kitchen, pantry becoming, again, very popular in a lot of different uh, layouts. You will see that you have a light there, so plenty of pantry space. I love that. You have kind of the frosted glass here, too, so if you just want to keep that light on, you can. And then, of course, because we have dual opposing slides, that allows you space for this big center island. Tons of prep space on both sides of the sink. It is an undermount apron front. If you can see this, Fritz. Look at that, again, the following those residential trends, we have apron front sink on there, high rise pull out faucet, plenty of storage. Take a look at this, this is a big one for me. Boom, you have not one, but two trash cans, a dedicated place for them. You don't have to try to hunt for it. I love when manufacturers do that, so smart. Nobody wants to hang you know, the trash bag on a pull or on, on a drawer, it's in the way, it smells. Put it away, I love that. More storage right underneath the sink itself, so I have room for pots, pans, everything else. Of course, more drawers here. Our fridge-freezer combo over to this side there. Again, over to this side, you'll have the tile backsplash, you know, nice gray uh, uh, tile on there. This is a recessed cooktop, three-burner cooktop. That folds up and back just like so. Kind of provides almost another backsplash there. The front one is high output, as you would expect. But you have an oven, good size oven. If you want to do any kind of baking, you have the capability to do that. 
and more storage. You know, uh, I don't know about you guys, right, but my wife loves to entertain. She loves to throw parties, have people over. You know, 2020 was a very hard year for us for that. Uh, love her to death, and again, she loves to have people and be surrounded by people, and that's why I like a floor plan like this. But with that, there's a lot of special like dishes and stuff that you need to have. You need to have storage for them. So this gives you the capability to do that. If you want a, a glorified Lunchable, right? You want a really nice charcuterie board? You can pull out your, your big charcuterie board right in there because you have a spot to store it. You know, you, you pull it out, boom, now you're good to go. You have those things with you when you're in this RV. Plenty of storage there too. I personally would probably put some uh, some beverages up there. You know, it'd probably be my bar area, but you can make it whatever you want, right? Whatever whatever you want for you, you can do. This would probably be my bar. You know, you have nice down lighting. I have a power tower. If you have a margarita machine, you can pop that right there in the corner. Plenty of storage all the way down underneath here. Of course, we'll have our control panel located there. Bathroom right here. Uh, you know what, hold on, before you step up here, let me open this up so we're not doing a dance. There you go. Come on up, Fritz. You can show everyone the bathroom. Um, you'll have a porcelain bowl toilet. You can see that you have a linen closet over to this side there as well. Nice big shower. I mean, you have plenty of room to be able to turn around in there. It's great. And then, of course, you have your sink here over to the side. Now, something else that I want to hit on is when we come into the bedroom, you can come on in here, see if you're able to sneak around. But this right here, you have a slide out wardrobe here in the bedroom. This is a mid profile, but it still gives you plenty of space. You can slide that out. You have room to hang your clothes right there. Queen bed, of course, you have spots that plug in a CPAP machine or whatever else, charge a cell phone. And look at that big window you have up there, folks. Nice big window, lets in a lot of light, gorgeous. And then up on the ceiling is a vent but that is also prepped for a second AC. So, you know, if, if it's a really hot day, I mean, as I said, we're down in Texas, but it's winter. You know, if it were summer, I definitely want that second AC, right? I'd want that sucker nice and warm and um, or rather nice and cool because it's gonna be nice and warm. So you can have that second AC installed right up there. As we take a look at the front, let's come on around here. I wanna show you the front of this beauty because it is absolutely gorgeous. That front windshield really makes them pop, right? Now, you know, we're out on the lot, needs to be washed up a little bit, but you can imagine when you wash it and you get that sucker shining, it is gorgeous with that front windshield, painted front cap, LED lights on here, dropping down underneath. You have the Rotaflex uh, Trail Air Kingpin to help take out some of the bucking and chucking there because it rotates, right? Now, if you're not familiar with what that is, when you start and stop, you have movement. And, and so what'll happen a lot of times is the Kingpin will kind of slam into the truck or it'll pull your truck back. This helps prevent that, right? So, uh, you know, that's a great thing. It will make the tow a lot easier. If we dive underneath, you'll see the big storage area right there up front. Very clean, good cable management. You know, just really, uh, they did a great job getting after those cables, making sure they tucked them away. Solar prep over here on the side. Then take a look at this garage space underneath. You know, great space here, and there's not any plumbing running vertically, right? They, they were able to put it all up at the ceiling, so you don't have any plumbing in the way, so you have plenty of room to slide in some of your bigger items. Over on the other side, folks, is auto level control. If you take a look at the jacks right down here, you can see this one has auto level. You want to talk about making life easy. You know, I, we, we saw it a little bit, um, you know, earlier on some of the past models, the past couple of weeks. You touch a button, this thing levels itself, folks. And for $9.62 a day, you can get auto level on a fifth wheel like this. You know, it's starting at $40,175, folks. You don't want to miss out. This one is beautiful. Look at that, two big power awnings. Touch a button to roll them out. Same thing to go back in. You have a couple speakers out there. You have your steps, be able to climb up. More ride step above steps. Aluminum treads, grip tape, the whole nine yards. Now folks, if this is the one for you and you're interested, simply text the word RV to 46642. But remember, the show's just starting. We have a ton more coming, so make sure you stay tuned. Demand for RVs is at historic levels, which is why we are working around the clock to bring you over 80,000 factory fresh RVs. That's the largest selection of RVs in the world, fresh from the factory to our stores, to your driveway or campsite. RVs are made by Americans for Americans. And now you can see America for less. Shop over 80,000 factory fresh RVs, starting at just $5 a day. Click, call, or visit your local Camping World or Gander RV and Outdoors today. When we talk about fifth wheels built to entertain, one of the things that are often overlooked are toy haulers. And honestly, I don't know why, because for me, toy haulers are 
purely built to entertain, right? I mean, take a look just real quick at the kitchen space we have here. You have a ton of seating all the way across here so everyone can sit down and watch TV. We have a ton of seating here in the back. Come on back with me in the garage. 13 foot garage, mind you, right? So, so why is that great? For a couple different reasons. Uh, we talk about entertaining. Let's say you wanna take a bunch of friends and you wanna do a kayaking trip. You have a 13 foot garage here. You can fit a lot of the kayaks in here. Let's say you wanna do uh, ATV, boom, throw it in here. You know, you have a side-by-side. -side. You can fit most side-by-sides in a 13 foot garage. You know, quads, motorcycles, whatever it may be, you have a ton of space back here. And it's just excellent storage for wherever you're going, whatever you may be doing, but also seating. When we talk about entertaining, there's a lot of different uh, entertaining spaces and most RVs have it in the living room. But the cool thing about a toy hauler, as you can see right back here, this one comes with a party deck. You can see, you know, the cables on the sides, plus you have the more ride system right there. Super simple and easy to set up. You can have the whole thing set up in uh, just a few minutes, you know, probably three, four minutes tops. You will be rocking and rolling. And so you get another party space right outside, right? Another entertainment space. You can sit out there, enjoy the views. If you're a lot of campsites, right? The nicest view is out the back of the RV. And so with this, you know, I've seen it where people have backed up and, you know, it'll be like a big drop off, like down to a river and they will actually take their party deck and put it over that drop off. And you want to talk about a cool experience, a cool view that right there, right? The deck life, that is where it's at. Uh, just an awesome space to entertain. And you can easily come right in here, right? This bed, of course, goes all the way up to the ceiling. So that way everyone can easily come right in here. You can go right out on the deck and there is a screen. So you can close that screen down so that if you're you know, sitting back here, bugs aren't coming in, or you know, if you're out on the deck, again, you're not getting a bunch of bugs in here. Uh, both sofas are rollover sofas. So this does you know, roll over just like so. The other side will do the same thing. Now you have another queen bed. So you have two additional beds back here. So you wanna talk about entertaining. You know, again, when I entertain, I, I tend to have a full bar. And so, you know, we have a lot of friends that stay the night because they have to drive, right? And if they want to imbibe, they want to hang out. That's part of the rules. You know, I, I want to make sure people are safe. So come over. Here you go. We can have some drinks. I have beds for people. I have places to sleep. If you have a little one, need to pack and play. Look at this. I have plenty of room in this garage space where I can set up a pack and play right back here. Also, I have a secondary door, right? If you don't want to get in and off the party deck, you can come right in here and uh, enter this garage space without bringing dirt into the main living area because this floor is super simple and easy to clean. Plenty of tie downs. You have your diamond plating, um, you know, skid guard kind of along the corners right there. Uh, up top, we have a vent fan, plenty of, you have two speakers as well as AC ducts so that if it's hot, it'll stay nice and cool back here. And take a look at this, one of my favorite parts. We talk about hanging out on the party deck, you're having some beverages, you're chilling, entertaining. Look at that, folks, we have a half bath. So you have a place, you can come in, use the bathroom without having to go through the entire RV. You know, you have a little bit of storage in there as well. Medicine cabinet, I mean, you know, everything that you really need. Now, if we take a look up top, there's additional storage right up here. Now, it's a little bit tougher to reach. You know, you'll want a ladder or step stool or something to be able to get up there, but you do have additional storage space, which is really cool. So if you have some items you don't have to get to very often, maybe it's extra bedding, you know, pillows or just larger totes of items, that is a great spot for it there. Now let's step into the main living room. But before we do, one of the things you'll notice is this beautiful door, right? You have actual glass on the door here. It's not just wood. So you're able to see through, so you can keep this door closed and still be able to see what's going on out here. Uh, I like, you know, the heavy duty, just the really nice doors. And as we saw in the very beginning, when we step into this space, you have all of this seating here. Allure furniture, as we just saw, you know, nice upgraded furniture. You have recliners on both sides, uh, USB port. So if you need to charge your cell phone, you can do it right here, cup holders. And I have a good view to the TV. You know, I am angled a little bit, but it's still, if I have plenty of people here and I can sit four people here very comfortably, this one, you know, I mean, I have a pretty big butt and I can still, you know, snuggle up here with my wife. We'd be able to sit here, no problem. Have a couple friends on either side or the kids, whatever it may be. And we can all watch a movie, uh, 50 inch TV. So plenty big there for everyone to be able to see. And if, you know, let's say again, we talk about entertaining. So let's say 
you know, I want to I want to get some snacks, right? You know, we talked about this before. I want I want to make my, my charcuterie board, or I want some, you know, just uh, like some other cheeses, or maybe a cheese ball, or whatever it may be. I can whip up a snack right here. I can have everyone there. You know, we're talking, we're watching TV, we're having a good time. If they want to come up here and grab things, they can do that. Have a plate, sit right back down. There is a table in the back. I didn't show you. It's it's hidden underneath the mattress because it's an easy place to travel with it. Uh, nice foldable table. So you can put that in between the sofas back there if you want to eat back there, or you can put it up right here so you can have a table space. Uh, solid surface countertops in here too, folks. You know, we're not skimping. Here's the great thing, all right? We talk about all these amenities, all this great space, the solid surface, everything in here. And folks, for the show, this one is starting under $60,000. You're looking at $59,775 is where this one's starting at. That's as low as $11.96 a day. Under 12 bucks a day, you're getting a beautiful toy hauler. Uh, this one's uh, a little under 39 foot long for weight. You're about 12,000, uh, a little over 800 pounds dry. The other cool thing about this one is, like I said, this one is built to entertain and not just in a campground, right? So many big fifth wheels require, you have to have shore power, you know, to be able to run. You have to, you know, they, they don't necessarily have big tanks on them. But when you're talking about a toy hauler, not only do I have extra fuel on board, right? If I need to refill a generator, but I have a generator on board, right? That's an option. You can get an onboard generator on here, at least prep or get the generator itself. And so that way you can power everything. And you want to talk about water tanks? This one has a 100 gallon fresh water tank. If you're planning on going out and sitting out somewhere for a while, sitting out in the middle of the woods, that 100 gallon fresh tank will allow you to do it. Plus it has a 74 gallon gray tank and get this at 85 gallon black tank. That is huge when you're talking about black tank sizes. Now also, maybe you want to listen to some music. Maybe you want to, you know, jam out, right? Having a good time. We have a nice sound system right underneath the TV. You can see the speakers on both sides. Plus, you have the subwoofer right down there below the JBL system. So you can see that you have uh, plenty of entertainment options. Some kind of cool hidden storage. You have like a little spice cabinet right over there, which I like. Of course, there's storage all underneath here. Uh, you can't really see it, but there is enough space underneath this sink for a trash can. Uh, electrical outlet over here. Your cooktop will be right in the back. It's recessed, it's covered. Of course, you have the hood there, TV, or TV, microwave right up top, a little bit of storage to the side. More here, I'll open this up for you just to kind of take a look at the pantry space. Fridge, freezer built right into the door here as well. I love the look of the wood, the color. You'll see the glass, decorative glass they put on there to hide the control panel. And again, right there is your gen set. So if you want to uh, run that generator to power everything in here, including the TV, ACs, everything you need, you can do that. So we just take a step up, take a look at the doors, right? I just want to show you, if we haven't seen it on any of the other ones, uh, I do like what they did. They kind of put like some strips on there, kind of give it like that farmhouse look that we see it's so popular, uh, you know, on the residential side of things. And then stepping into the bathroom, of course, as you saw, there's another entrance to the bedroom, but right here, I have plenty of room for my legs. I'm six foot tall, you know, 210, plenty of space. Solid surface countertops in the bathroom, folks. They did not skimp out. A lot of manufacturers will put something a little bit less expensive there, but they did not here in the fuel. You will also see you have big space in this shower. I mean, I can easily move around. I have a seat if I want to, you know, just shave my legs or anything and throw my foot right up there. Uh, plenty of room to move, and as I mentioned, I'm six foot tall. Then if we take a peek up into the bedroom, it's a little tight uh, to, to kind of sneak up through here, but if you just want to kind of poke your head in and, and show everyone what we have, so you have the queen bed right in the center on both sides. You will see uh, you have some uh, some nightstands, wireless charging over on this side, right? Super handy. Just drop your phone right on there. That way you don't have to mess up a charging port or try to you know figure out how it goes in in the middle of the night or anything like that. Storage all across the top, plus kind of like that dark, almost shiplap look right down underneath. Uh, again, folks, I absolutely love this RV, and as I mentioned. If this is the one for you, folks, make sure you text the word RV to 46642 to lock in that price starting at under $12 a day. And the other thing too, right, is if, if you like toy haulers, maybe this isn't the one for you. Maybe you want, you know, like a loft bed or something like that. We have them available. We have over 20,000 on the lot, over 80,000 units coming in. And if you're looking for something else, simply text FRESH to 46642. That will lock in your show pricing to make sure you're getting the best discounts available. And we will help walk you through the different toy haulers, some of the different options they have. There, there's a lot of different options when we're talking toy haulers. You know, some of them have generator prep. Some of them come with generators. Some of them have auto levels. Some of them have fuel stations. Some of them don't have any of it. 
So we're here to help you out and all you have to do is text that word FRESH to 466. Four, two. Now, if we take a look right up front, you will see this one is fully loaded with the Cummins Onan 5,500 watt generator. Folks, as I said, we can run that AC, we can run that TV, no matter where we're at, we have full power to everything in here. If you want solar to make sure your batteries are topped off, you have solar prep as well. If we take a look right in the inside, you will see TV hookup if you want TV here. Plus, there is a, a, a water heater bypass for winterization. So you can just flip that, make sure you're not going to fill up your water heater with any uh, uh, antifreeze or propylene glycol, because we certainly don't want to do that. A couple of really cool features. Of course, you have the upgraded steps, you know, makes it nice and easy to get in, aluminum treads so they don't rust. More importantly, folks, there is Asdell built into this sidewall. You want to talk about excellent construction at an excellent price? The fuel right here is the perfect example. So with that Asdell, the great thing about it, it's lighter weight. You know, when we're talking big rigs like this, you're gonna put a lot of weight in the back. You want it as light as possible. Plus, it's not going to absorb water. If you've ever seen where you have lamination, you have bubbles in the side, that's known as delamination. And the reason that happens is water gets into that sidewall. You have Luon in there. That Luon is wood, a wood substrate, and it will absorb that moisture and you'll start to get the bubbles. But because of the Asdell, it will not do that. Plus, it's a green material, so you're not gonna get that off-gassing inside. So excellent construction on here. And we wanna talk about quick Setup. This one has auto level. Touch a button and it levels everything out for you. You have speakers out here so the party can continue here outside. That secondary entrance that we saw when we were inside. This one also has never adjust brakes. That's one of those things a lot of people don't think about on the maintenance side is making sure that your brakes are adjusted. The bigger the RV, the, the harder it is to stop. Those never adjust brakes will make sure that they are always nice and easy to stop. Right there is your ramp door, backup camera prep ladder, and of course our fuel fill station will be located right around here on the other side. Again, folks, if you're interested in this one, simply text RV to 46642. With the Camping World Best Price Guarantee, we'll beat any competitor price by $500 guaranteed or write you a check for $1,000. I will never lose a deal of a price, ever, and I guarantee it. Learn more today at CampingWorld.com. I'll tell you what, here we go. It's week four, and how about that? Amazing. Uh, this was, we're, we're talking about toy boxes again. We're yep. in fifth wheels, and that particular unit, I love the fact that Ian was talking all about the big garage because that's where all the toys go. Yep. And, uh... You know, the pack and plays and the kid toys and everything else. Yeah. yeah. So. And speaking of toys, we've got an <laughs> ultimate giveaway right now. Yep. Bryce, what are we giving away? We are giving a Coleman Power Sports UT250. Oh, wow. If you watched last week, it's what Nelly came romping in on on the show. Those things are selling like hotcakes. In fact, all the ones here were just bought. So they got to restock. Guy came in to take a look at a unit and uh, said, I've got 15 grandkids. And he bought every motorized <laughs> vehicle we had, one for every one of his grandkids. I wish They're I was amazing. his grandkid. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty impressive. So we have a winner. If you haven't registered yet, uh, Ultimate RV Show. That's U R V S. If you want to register right now for our giveaways, over $250,000 worth of giveaways. Nelly, who is our winner? Our winner is Tom Cameron. Congratulations. Yeah. So awesome. Wow. Congrats, Tom. Tom. You're going to love it. You're going to enjoy <laughs> some time with the family on that, just like you guys did last week. <laughs> yeah. That was so fun. Yeah. And again, guys, to be eligible, text URVS to 46642. Yep. We got a lot of giveaways. We are even hiding treasures on social media, so stay posted for all of that. All right. We're going to put Ian to work today big time, and we've got him Woo. with the Forest River Sierra 379 FLOK. Take it away, Ian. What do you got? And how could we call this session Fifth Wheels Built to Entertain if we didn't have a front living? Front living room fifth wheels are something that kind of went away for a while, came back maybe five, six, seven years ago uh, when they really were able to perfect it and make them what they are now. And again, there's a lot of different front living room fifth wheels. Uh, you know, we have some with lofts in the back. There are some that have bath and a half. There's just a ton of different options out there. Uh, and, and if you're interested in the front living and you want help, you know, again, kind of picking out which one's right for you, simply text FRESH to 46642. However, if you're thinking, Ian, what are we in? What does this one have? Well, folks, this is the 2021 
Forest River Sierra 379 FL OK. And this unit is definitely more than OK. It is absolutely beautiful and a lot of great features in a front living. The first thing is if we turn around, kind of do like a 360 for everyone, Fritz, show them what we have up here. So the front living room really gives you that residential feel in that you get a front living room space where everyone can just kind of sit around. There's seating. You can have excellent conversation. If you're entertaining, this is the place for it. And a couple cool things about this particular floor plan. As everyone's sitting here and you're talking, if you wanna enjoy just each other's company, you have this big, beautiful window, right? So you can enjoy scenery and just kinda, you know, uh, enjoy what nature has to offer in the comforts of your RV, all while still having great conversation. But maybe there's a game on. Maybe you wanna watch a game, or, you know, maybe you have grandkids and you wanna watch a movie. Well, here you go. You have the little uh, TV elevator here, just pops right up, just like so. Nice and simple and easy to use, and now everyone can watch the TV if that's what you want. But again, sometimes we don't want that to be the focal point, so we can drop it down and really uh, enjoy the beautiful window we have. Of course, some storage there with decorative glass. Nothing too serious as far as storage size. More importantly, it just looks really nice. Uh, and then underneath, you can see storage on both sides there, plus your multimedia center and the fireplace. And the cool thing about this is this fireplace will do an awesome job of taking the chill off in this living room space. Why? Well, we're elevated, right? We're higher up. And as we all know, heat rises. So the heat that kicks out in this room up here, you know, you're going to be nice and toasty right up in this space. Now you might also think, but Ian, I don't do a lot of cold weather camping. I camp when it's hot out. What about staying cool? Well, as you will notice, here we are. We have the AC unit with quick dump. So that way, what you do is you open this up and instead of going through the ductwork, all that AC uh, coolness just comes right through here, dumps into this main living area and all that airflow is right here. So that way, again, you will stay nice and cool up here. So it's kind of the best of both worlds, right? You can stay, you can stay warm, you can stay cold. Basically, you will stay comfortable. Now on both sides, we have tri-fold sofas. Why is that important? Well, the cool other cool thing about a front living, as I said, is, you know, when I like to entertain, I like to have people be able to stay the night. You know, we're going to be imbibing. We're going to have some beverages. I don't want people drinking and driving. We need to stay safe. So if the people need to stay the night, I have the capability to do that. Both of these will fold out into beds. I can have a couple on each one, right? So you can have two, you can sleep four people right up here. For a total of six people, you can sleep in this RV, which, you know, is definitely pretty impressive given the layout we have. So, uh, well, I shouldn't say that, right? Front living rooms generally can sleep six. Um, but, you know, for being a fifth wheel that's built to entertain, that's mainly a couple's coach is what I should say. For being a couple's model, being able to sleep six people is pretty darn good. So if we take a look right here, this is theater seating. Now this of course is directly across that TV. This will be the best seat in the house if you do wanna watch the TV. You'll see that the cup holders here light up as well as you have the lights underneath. Uh, if you wanna shut that off, you can. You can just, you just double tap right here on the uh, cup holder and that will turn off. Same thing to turn it right back on if you do like the look. We will see those blue lights several times throughout, right? As we go through, you'll see that theme uh, kind of throughout here. And I am glad that at least they kept it all the way throughout. As we take a step down into the kitchen, so beautiful kitchen, solid surface countertops here. You know, of course, same thing with our kitchen island. We have dual opposing slides. So just so you guys, you know, we're taking a count, right? If you want to count slides, we have two up in that main living area, dual opposing slides right up there. We have two more right here in the kitchen. And when we get to the back, you'll see another one back there. So this space opens it up to allow for this kitchen island. So you get good prep space here, right over to the side. Plus you have the sink top cover, which really is what gives you the prep space. I personally, if this, you know, if this were the fifth wheel I was going for, this is how I would probably run it most of the time. I'd leave this side on. So I have all this prep space right here. If I need to use the sink, I have this space there. And then, you know, take this off when you need dishes and stuff like that when you're all done cooking. Uh, but I do like this setup. And of course, plenty more. If you need like bar space, take a look at this, right? It has the blue lights, looks really cool. You have, um, you know, electrical outlet there. If you want a TV, there is a TV connection here too. So if you want a little TV in the kitchen, right, you can do that. You know, you want to put a, a recipe on there or a cooking show, or maybe you just want to watch a show while you're cooking, you have the ability to do that. If you're a little bit taller, right, I'm six foot, I can see over uh, up front in the living room TV there as well. So, you know, if I want to watch the TV there, I def definitely have the ability to do that. You will see storage all the way underneath and 
a residential refrigerator. I believe this is the only one uh, we have shown in this particular segment that has the RV refrigerator, or sorry, the residential refrigerator rather than an RV refrigerator. Uh, great thing about residential is you generally get more square footage. It also cools down much quicker. Now again, not every front living has this. So if you love the front living, but you don't want residential because you know you do a lot of boondocking, right? You go over there, you don't have a lot of shore power, and you don't plan on bringing a generator. Then a residential refrigerator is not for you. You'll want one that can run off propane as well. We have those available. All you have to do is text the word FRESH to 46642, and we can help you identify one, find the one that's closest to you, and make sure you're going to get the best deal out there because, one, we have show pricing available, and texting FRESH will lock in the pricing, and, two, we will beat any deal that there is. If we can't beat it, we'll give you $1,000. It's truly that easy. Worst case scenario, you're $1,000 richer, right? Making our way a little bit further in here, of course, you have the nice big microwave right down underneath that. I love this. You have a free standing range. That's something that's very unique to the Sierra line, right? You have a four burner cooktop. Most RVs will have a two burner or a three burner in most fifth wheels. Having a four burner is something you just don't see very often at all. And I love having the full residential size. Look at the size of that oven. If you're someone that loves to bake, you love the front living, then this right here could absolutely seal the deal. You're getting a residential refrigerator, you're getting a residential style oven. And if this is the one for you folks, then instead of texting fresh, you'll want to text the word RV to 46642. That will lock in your pricing for this unit, which is 60, is starting at $62,715 or as low as $12.55 a day. And for what you're getting here, that is an absolutely phenomenal price. You can see the pantry has good storage. You have shelves down below that you're able to pull out there. Take a look at this, right? Slow close drawers. You have more drawer space right over here. Slow close on that as well. Spot for a trash can. Can you get in there? Not sure. Yeah, there you go. See, spot for a trash can right underneath, right? So you don't have to worry about that. Look at that. Slow close doors all the way throughout. So not only do you have residential appliances, but you have residential features in your RV. If you don't want that space for a bar, here's another great space for, you know, and it can be a coffee bar or you can just use it for general storage, folks. You know, I, I, I sound like an alcoholic when I talk, right? Because I do, I do drink a fair amount when I, when I camp because I, I like to relax. I like to unwind. And that's a lot of times how I do it. That being said, this does give you additional space if you just want space for like cups, things like that, or coffee mugs. You have more st uh, storage space down the below, but with that big pantry, both kind of bars on both ends, you have a ton of storage space in here. Freestanding table and chairs right there, so that uh, it also has a leaf, so if you have four people sitting there, you're good to go. You will also notice the big windows, and you will have uh, the blackout style roller shades. Very easy to use, and um, you know, as you can see, it, it does a good job of giving you privacy as well as block out any light. Now make our way back here real quick. We're running out of time. These are such big units, beautiful units, so much to talk about. Uh, right down here, porcelain bowl, right, so that it's easy to clean. Take a look at this. Well, there's a TV box in there, but this is washer dryer prep. So if you want washer and dryer, this is where you can have it right here, folks. And it's plenty of space there. I love the fact it's tucked away in a bathroom, not to, you know, in the kitchen or the bedroom, anything like that. Big shower, plenty of ceiling height. You can see you have a bar in there as well. So you can set, you know, where you want this, where you want this to be at. So if you want a little bit higher, a little bit lower, you can do that. Big sink and vanity there. As we spin it around, you can also notice right over here, you have a secondary entrance and exit. So that way, you know, if you just want to come in and use the bathroom, you can do that without bringing dirt all the way through. And then as we come back in the back here, right in the very back, you will see your slide out bed storage on both sides, a ton of storage there, space for a TV right here. And we, we talked about that blue light. You can see the blue light in the headboard, right? So, you know, kind of right up there. So if you uh, shut the lights off and, well, we got some more lights there, but I'm sure you can use your imagination, right? You want to set the mood here. You know what, Fritz, you stay right there. We're going to do this. We're going to show the people. Whoops, wrong one. There we go. Just like that, right? Well, we have a camera light on. Darn it all. So, but you can see there, right? It's, it's nice and pretty. Uh, not only does that set the mood, more importantly, is it gives you like a, um, an ambient light. So if you have to get up in the middle of the night and use the bathroom, you can just flip that guy on. It's not super bright. It's just easy to get to. Now, one of my other favorite parts about having uh, the Sierra front living is right back here. Folks, I absolutely love this. Not only do you get that space to entertain inside, 
but you can also entertain outside because you have the outside kitchen. Normally to get one of these, you know, you're looking at a bunk model and you know, I love cooking outside, but maybe, you know, maybe that my kids are grown and I just want the wife and I, you know, and I want to have friends over. This gives me the ability to entertain. You have storage, a microwave out here. You know, if you want to talk about this before, you want to throw in a microwave burrito, maybe it's, I don't know, 1.30 in the morning and you're, you got some munchies. Well, there you go. Toss it right in there. You can also see, you know, your little uh, sink right there, little wash basin if you need to wash your hands out here. You know, especially in the times we're living in, you want to make sure you're safe, you're clean. This lets you do it. And you get the fridge, which for me, this is the holy grail out here because I like to have beverages right there. You can see the swing around grill. If you want to cook, you have the ability to do that here as well. The propane quick connect, swing it around. You want to fry up some burgers, some dogs. You can do that there. Of course, you have the ladder on the back to fully climb up onto the fully walkable roof. And one other thing I want to mention, we talk about build quality, right? I didn't get a lot of time to talk about it here and I'm running out of time. But if you take a look at the roof line, you see how that comes down further, right? That gives you a bigger radius than a lot of other manufacturers out there. And so that way you have less chance for water penetration because it's not right there on that corner. And if you brush up against something like a stick, it's less chance that it's going to cut that open. You also have auto level on here. You have big awning space. You can see the awnings, LED lights, as I mentioned, five slides on here, folks. This is a gorgeous RV. And if you're interested in this one, you'll want to text the word RV to 46642 to lock in your pricing again. It is starting at $12.55 a day. If you like any of the others you've seen so far, any coming up, text the word FRESH to 46642 or drop it in the comments section below. This is Bryce. I'm Nellie, and we are the Journeys. We are full-time RVers with our two little girls. We have an almost three-year-old and a seven-month-old. We have done all 50 states in our RV. We moved from a Class A to a fifth wheel and we're going strong. We have partnered with Camping World, Good Sam, and Gander RV during this Ultimate RV Show National Tour to go to 10 different locations throughout the country, show you all that they have to offer, and actually hide geocache treasures throughout this tour. So make sure you follow along with the Ultimate RV Show National Tour and join us as we go across the country on this tour. I'm Ian Baker, and I'm joined today by my good friends Tiffany and Caleb with us, the Remingtons. And today we're going to talk a little bit about Good Sam, the Good Sam membership, uh, kind of what Good Sam's all about, and some of the benefits along with it. So, you guys have been Good Sam members for a few years now. Why don't you tell us just a little bit about your experience? Well, if you're anyone like Caleb, he loves his grills. So, we're going in camping <laughs> oh, world and ganders all the time. Um, but the savings that we get while we're in the store is incredible. We like our last trip, we probably saved about 200 and something dollars. Wow. Which is a lot of money. Oh, for sure. Yeah. And you now buy yourself that, a new grill with that kind of, that kind of scratch. Don't you know? give them any <laughs> ideas, Ian. <laughs> but that, and then we also save on like propane, which we go through a lot, especially winter camping now, which we didn't realize how much propane we go through Absolutely. with our heater on. Yep. Um, and we love that as well. Yeah, we've been uh, members now for three years. Okay. Soon as we got into RVing, <laughs> that was the first thing we did. We learned all about Good Sam and all the benefits you get, staying at different parks and yep. obviously the discounts, which we absolutely love. Mm -hmm. um, and we've done just about everything. We've our, we did van life. We had a 36 foot motor home. Okay. We've uh, you know traveled in the C class now. Yep. Uh, and so we just love that you can go to over 2,400 parks yep. and and you get these amazing benefits. And, and when something has a good SAM stamp of approval on it, you know you're getting quality. And yes. so anywhere we show up, we know that, you know, things are gonna be safe, clean, very consistent throughout the country. And that's what we love most. Yeah. Well, and one of the other things too, right, that I, I guess a lot of people don't know, you know, is, is they see good SAM, but a lot of people don't know that the SAM is actually short for Samaritan. Yeah. Right? That's kind of how it got its founding. It's all about being good and doing good. And Tiffany, Caleb, I know that's very close, very near and dear to your guys' heart. Um, why don't you tell us just a little bit, you know, kind of about the recent projects you've been working on, opportunities to be able to give back. And Yeah, we're super excited. So we decided that we wanted to add on this, like, Good Samaritan part in the Ultimate RV show. So 
every week in every city, we're going to be doing something that's going to give back to the community that we're in. So this past weekend, um, we were in Houston and we partnered up with Turning Point, which is an amazing shelter down here. And we made 400 um, lunch sacks for those who are touched by homelessness. And it was really neat. Like their programming is so cool. They have like most of their staff members are um, residents themselves. So okay. they tend their organic farm, their chefs, their the cleaning and maintenance. And it was really cool to kind of see the program come to life. And they were saying like how because of COVID, their donations have been impacted very greatly. So they were like, when we rolled in, especially like, this is like <laughs> right? really in your face and really bad. They're like, all the residents came out like cheering, so oh, excited. That is they awesome. were so, so pumped. Yeah. So it was amazing. We uh, we went to Costco. We spent about six hundred dollars. We filled the RV up with all the goods. We came back. We had some amazing volunteers come by, uh, who are local here in, in uh, Houston. And uh, yeah, we just put together these lunches, brought them down, and again, they were so grateful. They gave us a tour of the place and. It just, you could tell like how much this was gonna help them in their community. And we are just so honored to be partnered with Good Sam and uh, Camping World and Gander RV. And, yeah. and they're actually like, yes, you guys wanna start this give back program? I love it. Let's, Let's do, do it. it. Yes. And we've never, like we've worked with so many brands and companies before and it is never that easy to like pitch a community project and get an ultimate yes. Like right away, <laughs> we're like, we were yeah. so shocked. So. We're super excited. We're going to keep yeah. continuing um, doing various different uh, projects as we uh, move across the country. So, I, I yeah. absolutely love it. And, and that's that's a thing that, you know, one of the things I really wanted to talk about, you know, because a lot of people think good salmon, they think the benefits. You know, you think about how you're saving on the parks, yep. saving on the retail, and I love that aspect of it. But for me, you know, kind of like you guys, I love the ability to give back. And that's yep. what Good Sam was founded on. Mm -hmm. And you know, that's probably why we have over 2 million members, right? A lot of people yep. don't know, it's actually the largest RV community in the country. Wow. And, and you know, Incredible. so it's a bunch of people giving back, uh, just like you guys. Thank you so much for joining me today. Yeah. Folks, if you want to be part of the biggest RV community in the country, the Good Sam Club is starting at only $29 a month, which is a phenomenal price. You get to give back, and as you guys mentioned, You'll make that up in dividends in no time at all. Yeah. Tiffany, Caleb, thank you so much for joining me, guys. Appreciate Thanks, it. Thanks, Ian. Introducing RV123 by Camping World, the only way to buy and take delivery of your new RV, all from the comfort of your couch or camp chair. To buy your new RV the easy way, just follow these simple steps. Step one, shop till you drop. Find your perfect RV online at CampingWorld.com and schedule a live virtual walkthrough with one of our RV specialists. Step two, make it mine. Discuss financing options over the phone with a Camping World finance expert. All paperwork handled via mail. Prepaid envelopes are provided. Step three, let's go camping. Take delivery of your new RV at your home or campsite. Our certified delivery specialist will provide the same high quality walkthrough that you would receive at a Camping World dealership. There's a whole new way to buy an RV. Get your RV the easy way with RV123 by Camping World. From sun up to sundown, we are designing your next big adventure, building your family vacation, delivering your memories that will last a lifetime. We know it's more than just an RV, which is why we are working around the clock to bring over 80,000 RVs fresh from the factory to our stores, to your driveway or campsite. Built by Americans for Americans and starting at less than $5 per day. Click, call, or visit your local Camping World today. And here we are. Fifth Wheels Built to Entertain up next is the Forest River Wildcat 336 RLS. And as we go through this floor plan at first glance, you may be thinking to yourself, Ian, this looks a lot like the Atlas 2992 that we filmed. And you'd be absolutely right. It is a very similar floor plan. But one of the things I love about this industry, and one of the reasons I really wanted this one featured in this segment, is to show you just how different RV manufacturers can be, right? It may be a similar layout, but there's definitely some nuances, some differences. And right away, we can see that in the colors that we have. I mean, we still have, you know, dual opposing slides. You get the, the island here in the kitchen, but you 
you can see the woodwork. You have like a white woodwork on here, a little bit two-tone if you notice, right? You have white uppers, you have dark lowers. And you will also see that they went with like a, oh shoot, almost like a bronze or like a gold, like a, a rose gold maybe for the pulls, right? A little bit different colors than what we're used to seeing in the RV industry, much more residential. And we'll see that as we go throughout. The flooring is very different too. It's almost like a beech wood, right? So. When you're starting to look at different RVs, even though it's the same floor plan, there are a lot of differences. And we'll see some floor plan differences as well, but definitely in design. And here's the thing, folks, if you're, if you're interested in uh, RVs, right, you're just starting to get into it, you're starting your search, and you're like, well, aren't all rear livings the same? And obviously they're not, but here's the thing, we are here to help. We have specialists standing by to help navigate you through all the RVs that are out there, the over 100,000 RVs that we have on the lot and coming into stock. All you have to do is text the word FRESH to 46642 or drop FRESH in the comments section below. Or hey, maybe you just wanna to talk to a person, maybe you don't wanna talk on a computer. Folks, you can always give us a call. Just give us a call at 877-297-8725. Pick up that phone, give us a ring, and we'll help navigate you through to find the perfect one for you, whether it's built for entertaining, whether it's a rear living, or maybe you're looking for something for a family. We can definitely help you out, and we'll lock in the show pricing, getting all those show specials. This particular one, as I mentioned, dual opposing slides here on the camp side. Once again, we have windows in lieu of storage. A little bit more decorative on the, uh, a little more ornate, I should say, on the valance, right? A little bit different than what we've seen. Normally it's like a solid, uh, like a cloth pattern, something like that. This one's a little bit more ornate. We'll see that all the way around, but it does tie into the kitchen backsplash. We take a look over at the kitchen, not to flip you from side to side, but you can see that, you know, it kind of helps bring all of that in together. And where normally this could be a little bit, you know, of a busy pattern, because of just the, the stark white on the cabinets, I think it works. I think they did a good job of bringing that look in. Uh, it doesn't look overly busy. I, and again, I think they did a, a fantastic job here in the Wildcat. Now, for the table, again, freestanding table and chairs, right? You have four. If you do have a, the, all four people here, you get the little pop-up leaf. So that way you have a little bit more space to spread out. You're not bumping elbows while you're sitting there eating. As for the recliners, once again, two recliners. Uh, this is Thomas Payne furniture instead of Allure, so a little bit different. But one of the things you will notice is you have some power options on here. So, um, you know, it's, it's not gonna work right now because we only have 12 volt. You need 120 for these to work, just so you know. So you'll need either shore power or a generator to have your power theater seating work. But it does have a massage feature. It lights up, the cup holders light up. Plus it is power for the feet. Now. I personally like power for the feet for the reason that I've had a lot of couples that are, are shopping for uh, a fifth wheel, right? And, and maybe they're upgrading, right? Either they've had something a little bit older and they want to get into you know, the, the next stage. Maybe the kids are grown up, they've moved out of the house, or maybe um, you know, they've had the same fifth wheel for a while and you know, grandkids are here now, so they want a new one. But a lot of times what will happen with this theater seating is that it's hard to push it back in, right? A lot of people just don't have the leg strength. Again, especially if you're a little bit older, if you have issues with your knees. But the powered theater seating makes it so simple. It's you know very easy to do, of course, because it's just at the touch of a button. Now, if you're in that circumstance and you do have something and you're trading in, Folks, we have some of the best trade-in rates out there. And the coolest thing about that is not only will we get you a great deal uh, on your trade, because again, we have, as I mentioned, you know, we have a tool and everything that's already built for the best trade values to make sure you're getting the best deal, but also we will beat any deal you have. If you're looking elsewhere and, and you find a Wildcat and you're like, oh man, I have this Wildcat, I love it, this is the one for me, folks, we'll beat that deal. If we can't beat it, we'll give you a thousand bucks on us. It's that simple, you have nothing to lose. All you have to do is text the word BEAT to 46642. And that goes for anything you see in the show. If, if or any of the RVs we have on our lot, we will beat that deal or we'll give you a thousand bucks. You can see right back here, we will see the tri-fold sofa. That folds out into a bed, nice and comfortable. Now what they did here is instead of giving you a two seat sofa, like a love seat with end tables, they gave you a full three cushion sofa with a single end table. So bigger sofa, bigger seating area with but just one end table. And you will notice your electrical outlet, USB ports over there for plugging stuff in. And of course, windows all the way around and our storage up top. 
AC is ducted. You can see right here, it does have a quick dump option. If you wanna open that up, so that way it dumps all the AC right here into this main living area, really helping to cool it off quickly. The entertainment center is right across in that theater seating as we would expect. And the cool thing about this TV, Take a look at this, folks. It lifts up for more storage. Now, this in its own right isn't super unique, having storage behind the TV. You see a lot of manufacturers that do it, but the thing I like about this is it's clean. For someone like myself that really likes cable management, I love this setup because I can put a Blu-ray player right here. You know, I have a spot where I can plug it in at, you know, plug everything in, and then I can close this down and I don't have to see my components. I don't have to see wires. Everything is tucked away and hidden behind there because of what they've done, so I really do love that. You will see the entertainment center underneath there, of course, with the, uh, or the a multimedia center rather, sorry, with the fireplace. And that, of course, is not only a good space heater, but it also just looks really great. Turn that sucker on, you got the nice flame kind of set in the mood. As we move into the kitchen, big deep pantry you know again not every pantry is the same you'll see this one is really tall it kind of allows you to customize it for your own storage needs and maybe you don't want that maybe you want something with built-in shelves again we have rvs with that we saw it in the atlas and that's what we're here for is to help navigate you through that again all you have to do is text the word fresh to 46642 or put the word fresh in the comments below a little bit different lighting here Right? And that, of course, is right above the island, which is exactly what you want. Now, instead of a centered sink, this sink is off to the side. It's kind of like a, almost like a black stainless steel, right? Really cool looking, solid surface countertops, undermounted sink, high-rise pull-out faucet there, just as you would expect. Good storage underneath. There is plenty of room for a trash can, as you can see that. And as I mentioned, that's always an important one to me. Plus, you have drawer space, big, deep drawers, more drawers over there. You have space on both sides of the cooktop, so it doesn't matter you know, if you want to set your spoon off to the right or set your spoon off to the left, whatever it may be, you have room for it. Plus, that is additional prep space. You know, Maybe someone's prepping food right over here. You can still be here prepping additional food, so you can literally have two cooks in the kitchen, right? Uh, a couple electrical outlets, one on either side if you want to put a coffee maker there. Storage across the top, plus your microwave. Storage all down below and the oven there as well. Norcold fridge freezer combo unit here. And take a look at this. So again, this is where it differs a little bit, right? So we saw in the Atlas, you kind of had more of like a bar area here. On this one, you have more pantry space. So you have two pantries in here, plus storage up top still and storage down below, as I mentioned. Bright, you know, white up top, a little bit darker, um, you know, on the bottoms. I think that's a, a kind of a good look. And again, something we see commonly in the RV industry when you have those two different color, or uh, I'm sorry, in the residential industry when you have those two different color combos. Open this up for you as you step into the bathroom. Take a look right in here. So you'll see your toilet right down below. Again, nice big shower. So you have plenty of room, clear glass door. You know, not sure if you're into that or not, um, but it is a clear glass door. So uh, it, it's, it looks really nice as long as you keep it clean. Then when you come inside the bedroom, you will see in the bedroom here that you have a spot for a TV located right there. Some additional storage and storage all across the front here. So again, a little bit different than what we saw before. Hanging rod plus shoe storage. If you're one that has a lot of shoes, you can see right up there. Why don't you get in there, Fritz, show them. You know, you can see all the shoe storage you have. That's good storage. Plus you kind of have like that uh, barn style door that I really like. And the bed is in a slide out. So it gives you that full walk around capability here. You can see the nice headboard. Uh, just a lot of great features that you have set up in that bedroom. Now, when we come outside, of course the features don't stop uh, you know, inside. We have plenty of features outside here too. And we'll start right up front. And what you will notice is this guy. So you have the big, beautiful front cap. You have the LED lights inlaid in there. The Rhino box, which for it's a little bit shorter. It also gives you a better turn radius. So that's going to be important for a lot of people. You can see that's set back a, a little bit further there. And then as we drop down underneath, you can see all that front storage. So uh, great front storage that you will have right up there. Now, as you make your way back a little bit further yet, you can see the power awning. Now you don't just have one on the main area, you have another one on the slide itself. Both of those have LED lights. So you have a ton of awning space here, whether it's night or day, you can fully fold, uh, extend these out or partially extend them out completely up to you. But again, you do have those lights at night if you want them. 
As for the storage here, so again, as I mentioned, things be a little bit different. You can see this one doesn't have quite as much storage out here. If that's something that's important to you, that's great. We can definitely help you out with that. Uh, you know, if, if that's a, a deal breaker for you, we have other ones out there. If, if this is fine, you think you can fit everything in here, you love everything inside, you love the way it looks, great. Then this is the one for you. And if this is the one for you, you're gonna wanna text RV to 46642. If you like it, but it's not quite right, that's when you're gonna to wanna to text the word fresh to utilize over 100,000 pieces of inventory we have in stock and coming in to make sure we get the right one for you. And that number to text is 46642, or you can drop it in the comment section below. Solid steps, just like the name implies, they are very solid, easy to climb up in there. Uh, this one does have a fully enclosed and insulated underbelly. So if you plan on doing some colder weather camping, as long as you're running the furnace, it'll make sure everything's toasty underneath. You want TV outside, you will see right there, you have space for that as well. And as we come around to the backside, a couple of quick things I wanna hit on back here. One, you have a ladder so you can climb up onto the fully walkable roof. You also see backup camera right up there. And if we drop down, you will notice that this one has an accessory hitch. So if you wanna do some biking, right? You know, this is built to entertain. If you wanna go somewhere and you wanna be able to, uh, you know, have some bikes, you can slide a bike rack in there, or any other kind of carrier, something for a tote. They have a two inch receiver built right in there. Remember folks, this one for the show is starting at 49,465 or as low as $11 and 84 cents a day. All you have to do is text the word RV to 46642 to take advantage of the amazing pricing we have for the Ultimate RV Show National Tour. Ian, thank you so much. Wrapping up our fifth wheel segment. And of course, it's time to move on. And you know, before I move on, you know what I loved about that is that you get the storage behind the TV. And the I love when Ian huge. shows that to us. We're going into couples travel trailers, though. Woo, our favorite. We, yeah. The thing that we love about <laughs> couple travel trailers is the fact that there's so much more room and the hostability is key for us. Absolutely, yeah. So if you like that model or any other, we got 80,000 factory fresh vehicles. So you can pick and choose the exact model you want. Just text FRESH to 46642 and you can get whatever you want. Wait until you see what we have planned in our next segment. The couple's travels trailers. And again, Ian is going from one unit to the next. We're keeping him so busy. <laughs> this Dutchman Atlas has so much room that you are going to love it. I know you guys love this one too. Take a little tumble, do some cartwheels or something, you know? I love it. All right. <laughs> activities. It does have that kind of room. Ian, <laughs> let's show everybody what we got. And kicking off couples travel trailers, folks, we have the Dutchman Atlas 27. 32RB. This beautiful floor plan has a big slide, doesn't have any carpet in the slide, huge bathroom, big bedroom up front, TV directly across from the seating space, plus an outside kitchen. Folks, if it's just a couple of you and you're looking for a good travel trailer, something that has a lot of space for you, this is one that you certainly don't want to miss. We'll start actually right over here on the entertainment center. So one of the things I really like about this floor plan is it's something you don't get very often in a rear bath, and that's the fact that you have the sofa directly across from the TV. So when it's just the two of you, you want to kind of wind down at night, you know, after you had a lot of fun during the day, whether you're going fishing or kayaking or just sitting out around the campfire, you want to come inside, sit down, take a load off, relax, maybe watch a show. This gives you the ability to do that. And again, you don't have to crane your neck, right? That's why I love this setup. I don't know about you, but if you've ever watched TV and you're doing one of these or you're looking way up, after, you know, probably 20 minutes or so, your neck starts to hurt. But that's not the case here. And also, just to kind of give you that ambiance, right, as you're sitting there snuggling up, you'll see you have a fireplace right down below as well. And not only does that look great and give you that, that kind of, you know, home feel, but also that is a space heater. So if you are parked somewhere where you have shore power or you're running a generator on this RV, you can run that. You don't have to use up any propane and it will do a good job of taking the chill off kind of right here in this space where you're sitting. You also notice a little bit of storage up top. One of the other things you'll see is the fact that it comes out. Now, the reason they do that is if we take a look right here, open this up for you, look at that. As soon as you walk in, you have this giant storage space. And this gives you a lot of versatility. If you wanna use this as a pantry, by all means, it's close enough to the kitchen, you can certainly do that. If you wanna take these shelves out and use it as a coat closet, right? You can hang your jackets up right there. You still have room for 
a, a Swiffer or a broom or whatever else you want to put in here. Shoes down below, you can put a little mat. And as soon as you come in, you have a place to put all of that. So uh, again, I love uh, kind of this setup and, and what they've done, giving you uh, that option, that versatility. As we make our way in a little bit further, one of the things you'll notice is the barreled ceiling. So that gives you a lot of height too. You know, I love my wife to death. And one of the things that a lot of people are concerned about is no matter how much you love someone when you're confined in a smaller space, uh, you may start to get on people's nerves a little bit, right? If, if 2020 proved anything, I think it proved that to a lot of people. Uh, but having the barreled ceiling, right, helps it feel a little more open, feel a little bit bigger, especially with the windows, right? So you don't feel as closed in. Um, you know, because this, this is a decent size RV. It's not huge. I think we're at uh, like a little over 31 foot, almost 31 and a half. So it's a good size RV, but that barreled ceiling, those windows really help open that space up. Uh, as far as weight too, if you're thinking about towing, you, this one runs a little over 6,800 pounds dry. Uh, so chances are you will need a half ton or larger truck to tow it. So if you're looking at this, you're loving it, just keep that one in mind. And you know, when you get over 30 foot, that's generally going to be the case. You're going to need something a little bit bigger. Uh, if you're, and as I mentioned, if you're going out, you know, you're doing kayaking, all these cool adventures, and you want to make sure that you have enough water. Folks, this one has a 50 gallon fresh tank and 56 gallons of gray. So you can be out there for a while and not have to worry about, you know, coming back, filling up water, things like that. So nice big tanks on here. So again, if you're a couple that likes to get away, this one may be a great option. You can see the fridge and freezer right there, plenty of space. You have uh, some drawers down below. This one does run off both propane and electric and has automatic switchover. And again, folks, if this is the RV for you, you're going to want to make sure you text that word RV to 46642. That will lock in your price for this one. Uh, folks, because this one right here, with, with the show that we're having, you're looking at this one starting at $34,120, which is $8.17 a day. Very affordable for two of you to get out and really start enjoying. And if this is the one, you're going to want to text the word RV to 466 for two. As we take a look at the kitchen, you will see nice L-shaped kitchen, beautiful countertops here as well. These are upgraded countertops. What they do is they take uh, like a thermal foil and they put it on top and they heat it to the wood. And what that heat treatment allows is it kind of gives you a solid surface without being a true solid surface. So it's lighter weight than solid surface and it's a lot more durable than your standard T-mold. You don't have anything popping off here at the corners. It allows you to undermount the sink. So you can see that double stainless steel bowl right there. It is nice and deep, very modern cut to it as well, plus a high-rise pull-out faucet. You want to talk about, you know, some nicer features. Having that high-rise is great. Uh, there is a weight underneath. You know, obviously, I, I need to play with that because this isn't going back in perfectly, uh, but it, it normally does, right? The weight drops down, pulls that up, but I really like having the uh, the high-rise faucet with the pull-out, especially because right over here is our plug-in. So this is where I'd put my coffee maker. I can just take this out, fill it up nice and easy. We're good to go. Storage all the way across the top, stainless steel appliances, microwave hood, and an oven. You know, a lot of manufacturers are starting to get rid of ovens. This one does still have one. So if you like to bake casseroles or anything like that, um, you know, enchiladas, maybe just, a, you know, maybe if you're baking a cake, cupcakes, right, you're having a party, you have the ability to do that too. Right over to the side, there's space for a small trash can, which I always appreciate. I hate having my trash bag hang out. A couple big drawers underneath there as well. And as we come to the back, we'll move into the rear bathroom. This is a rear bath unit. One of the big advantages to rear baths, right? So you're starting to look at floor plans, you'll start to see, you know, you kind of had like rear bath, rear living, um, you know, are gonna be your two big couples models, right? So the nice thing about a rear bath, generally speaking, is it is a big bathroom. Why is that important? Well, uh, in an RV, you don't have a ton of places to change clothes, right, for, for privacy. You can up in the bedroom, but a lot of times the bedrooms are a little bit tighter, and this one's no exception. We'll see that when we go up there. But right back here, you have a ton of space. You can step out of the shower, you can dry off, you can get dressed. Uh, you know, as you are getting dressed, you have a, a almost full-length mirror right over here to the side, so you can make sure that you know, your, your, uh, your shirt and your pants and your shoes, everything is looking good right there. Plus, there is storage. Right, so you have a ton of uh, a nice big linen closet, a ton of storage for towels, whatever else you need in here. Right down in the corner is a porcelain bowl. Uh, if you've seen my videos before, you know I'm a big fan of porcelain. It stays cleaner longer. It's easier to clean in general, and you have plenty of leg room and shoulder space there too. The other big thing about it, we talk about 
space to get dressed, look at this. You have a hanging rod going across this entire span here. So lots of clothes storage here in the bathroom. Uh, you'll, you'll see this, there's an outside kitchen underneath. We'll see that when we go outside. Uh, but just know that you have all that clothes storage, which is definitely uh, a really nice thing to have. In the very back is your sink. Big countertop space too. It's always a good bonus there. Electrical outlet, some storage underneath. Mirrored medicine cabinet with storage there. And in the corner is the Neo Angle shower. I'll take a step in here just to show you. Folks, I'm six foot tall. You see I have plenty of head space here. That skylight definitely adds some additional headroom. Even with the doors shut, I'll kind of show you, I can still spin around, right? So, uh, you know, I'm, I'm over 210 pounds. I can still uh, hang out in there, spin around, stand up fully, no issue. So, again, if you like the, you know, having that big bathroom and a place to change your clothes, rear bath floor plan is a good option. Take a look at the slide out. Couple things I really like here. One is the fact you have windows all the way around, including on the sides, and those side windows do open. So if you want cross ventilation through this slide, if you don't want to run the AC, which as you'd expect, it does have fully ducted AC and heat, you can open those windows and just have that ventilation come through. You'll also see your uh, table and chairs rather than a booth style dinette. And in a couple's model, I prefer to see this. You know, I don't necessarily need the sleeping here. I have sleeping capacity in the sofa, uh, but this is, is perfect because it looks a lot nicer and it gives you more room, right? It's a lot easier to get in and out than it is in a booth dinette. You'll also notice they completely eliminated carpet here. Has a tiny little step up, which is fine. Uh, and I personally like that look. It makes cleaning so much easier when you eliminate the carpet. And then lastly, as we mentioned, is that sofa, which was directly across from the TV. And folks, this is a tri-fold, which means this folds out into a comfortable bed for any guests. So if you do have guests, uh, you have a spot for them to sleep, right? They're not going to be left high and dry. And again, it's why I say I think it's a, um, another reason that I like the fact they went with freestanding table and chairs. Now, as we come up into the bedroom, there's some things I like up here as well. You have the queen bed in the center. You'll see storage on both sides with individual nightstands, cubby holes underneath. I like that they actually have countertops on the nightstand. So, you know, you can put something a little bit heavier there. Like if you have a CPAP machine, it can sit there no problem. You have electrical outlets. You'll see wardrobe on both sides. Now, it's not a huge wardrobe, it's pretty narrow, but that's okay because we had that big one in the back. Front windshield, look at that. That is absolutely gorgeous. Lets you see uh, you know, both outside if you have a beautiful view and of course lets the sun in if you want it in there. You have a vent here with second AC prep. So if you want a second AC in here, it's already prepped for it, good to go. It's already braced, you have the wiring for it and you have TV hookup over in the corner, plus the two big sliding doors here to close off for privacy. So again, if you do have guests that stay the night, you're able to close that off. Remember folks, if you're loving this one, we're gonna take a look at the outside, but if you love it, make sure you text the word RV to 46642 so you can lock in your pricing on this beauty right here. Let's take a walk to the front. I wanna show you a couple features up here that I really enjoy. So. One of the things is you will see, right, you have bigger propane tanks and that's always a great thing. That means you can stay out camping longer. Also a power tongue jack. This allows you to hook up and disconnect super easily. Flip of a, flip of a switch here and you can raise and lower that tongue, making things very simple. And then you will see that three quarter front cap up there with that beautiful windshield we saw up front. That gives it just a gorgeous look. Coming around to the side, Notice a couple things here, solar prep. So if you want solar, all you have to do is buy portable panels, plug it in there, you're good to go. If you take a look at the pass-through, you will see that it has an LED light running the entire length. So it is very bright in there. It really allows you to see anything, no matter how far in you are. And then you'll see power stabilizer jacks here too. So that way, when you get to your campsite, all you have to do is flip a switch, it'll drop those down. You don't have to worry about, you know, manually cranking them. So it, you know, that's one of the things about the Atlas. It makes life a lot easier. You get to the campsite, you have a power tongue jack, you have power stabilizer jacks, you have a power awning, right? They're trying to make it easy. And if it's just a couple of you, you wanna get out there and start relaxing and enjoying each other's, you know, enjoy that time together where you can put your cell phones away and just be with each other. And the quicker you can do that, the better. It's one of the things I love about the Atlas. You also see the more ride step above steps, folks. Hey, none of us are getting any younger, right? And these steps right here make it so much easier to get in and out. They're very sturdy, aluminum tread so they don't rust. The larger grab handle here as well. 
And the last thing I want to show you if we make our way to the back, you'll see the outside kitchen on this one. So if you want to do some cooking outside, you can, plus a refrigerator for beverages. If you know me, I like to load that guy up. And on the very, very back, you will also see a two inch receiver hitch with 300 pound weight capacity. So if you have a bike rack, you can toss it right in there. Remember folks, this is the Atlas 2732RB. If you're interested, text RV to 46642. Demand for RVs is at historic levels, which is why we are working around the clock to bring you over 80,000 factory fresh RVs. That's the largest selection of RVs in the world, fresh from the factory to our stores, to your driveway or campsite. RVs are made by Americans for Americans. And now you can see America for less. Shop over 80,000 factory fresh RVs, starting at just $5 a day. Click, call, or visit your local Camping World or Gander RV and Outdoors today. And Kayla from Us the Remingtons. We are our traveling family of three and soon to be four. We absolutely love this lifestyle of hiking, fishing, kayaking, adventuring. We've lived in an RV for two and a half years. We first traveled in a Class A motorhome, 36 foot, so spacious, we loved it. And now we have the opportunity to travel in something a little smaller, a little bit more mobile. We are going from East Coast to West Coast in a brand new 2021 Thor Freedom Elite. And we're so fortunate to partner with Camping World, Gander RV, and Good Sam on this awesome road trip across America. We're excited to take you on the adventure. Hey guys, we're Tiffany and Kayla from Us The Remingtons. One of the things that we love the most about RV life is being outdoors. And we love to also set up camp and set up shop like we're staying forever. Yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna give you guys the rundown on all of our favorite camping essentials to make your next adventure that much more ultimate. So we gotta kick it off with the very thing that we're standing on. <laughs> The mat, so the mat is absolutely great. It's not like your typical rug at home. It's something we parked, we're parked at the beach a lot. So we had sand and dirt and, and a bunch of just outdoor stuff that was always tracking inside the RV. So we got the mat, which is great. Um, it's very light, very durable. All of the dirt seeps through and definitely a huge must in all of your camping needs. Absolutely. Uh, my next favorite item has to be the grill. We love taking the kitchen, although we have a kitchen indoors, we like taking it outside because Tiffany's pregnant, 12 weeks, <laughs> and sometimes the smell of bacon like gets to her like that, so she kicks me outside to do the cooking. Uh, so yeah, we have this awesome razor flat top grill. But tell them burner. about this grill, because my mom has been talking about flat grills for about, I don't know, five years of our relationship, and she's been hounding us to get a flat grill for years, and we finally pulled the trigger. Finally pulled the trigger. We got the double flat top, so we make breakfast on it, so you could throw the hash browns, the eggs, the bacon, the, the toast, like all of it on one. Or the pregnancy craving of just pizza rolls. Just pizza rolls. <laughs> Whatever it is, I fired up a pizza the other night on this thing. It was amazing. Um, yeah, so you can uh, use these little one pound uh, propane tanks or you can get the attachment to the big five pounds, but gotta have the grill. And the next thing that we love, obviously, are just all the different variety of chairs that Camping World and Gander RV offer. 
this has been something I've been eyeing on for a couple years because it's so unique. You don't ever see a, a double, double chair yes. and we get to sit and lounge together like oh, a cute wow. little married couple. Are you gonna jump on it? Oh over? yeah, I'm gonna jump on it. <laughs> Cause guess what you also got here, which is just a little makeshift fishing pole holder. So we can be on the lake fishing. Or I would be just, you know, taking a sip of my sparkling water. Sparkling water. Put so it yeah, we got the great cooler here. This thing keeps your drinks cold while you're fishing. Um, we have the club chair. That's the last thing, which is the big, awesome, cushy chair. You love that chair. I love the chair. I love all the things that we have on our like patio set. I always uh, love the love um, the table. extra table space because we always host. Doesn't matter what you do, what you want, you can get it at your camping world. All the camp essentials to make your next adventure that much more ultimate. Travel with peace of mind. Good Sam Roadside Assistance covers your cars, RVs, motorcycles, and all eligible family members. Unlike the competition, we offer unlimited distance towing, free roadside tire delivery, and coverage in all of North America. It's no wonder top consumer reviews ranked us number one. With plans as low as $5.50 a month, you can't afford to get stuck without it. Coming in just over 3,000 pounds dry, the ability to sleep three and 22 foot long. Folks, this is the 2021 Forest River Ozark 1660 FQX. And if you're looking for a lightweight couples model, folks, this may be the one. As I said, coming in dry, this one comes over just 3,000 pounds, has a GVWR of just under 4,000 pounds. So what that means is if you have a mid-size to large SUV, a family driver, right? Um, you know, I have like a, a Kia Sorento. This would be perfect for it. As long as you, you know, have that, that package with it where you have 5,000 pound tow rating, this is an excellent RV. It's one of the reasons I love this one. I'm so glad that we're able to show it to you because it is perfect for a couple. It is lightweight and it lets you get out there. And even better, folks, it is at a killer price. For the show, this one is $18,425, which is just $4.55 a day. I'm telling you, that is less than my Starbucks Nitro, or my Nitro I got at Starbucks today. And that's it, right? And you get to get out, you get to start making those adventures, you get to use the vehicle you have, you don't have to go out and buy a big truck. You get amazing amenities like an AC, you have a furnace, uh, we'll see the bathroom in a second. And again, this gets you outdoors, gets you spending time with each other. And especially in 2020, I know that, you know, it's been, it's been a little tough, guys, but we get, you know, when you get out there, you get to sit around the campfire and just relax, you know, just let some of those worries and fears just kind of roll away. Maybe you wanna get out and do some fishing together, some kayaking, some hiking. You know, we're down here in Texas and I have seen some beautiful, absolutely beautiful state parks. Something like this you can take out there, use as a home base, you know, take the kayaks out, you know, do some of that backpacking, that hiking, be able to come back. Uh, this gives you the ability to do it. Let's start off right over here on the camp side. So what you'll notice, this is one of my favorite things I talk about. You know, one of the big ones for me, especially in smaller RVs, is a campsite dinette. Now, it's not a very large dinette, right? I mean, you can really only fit one person on either side. You'll see if you have two, it'd be a little cramped. If it's a smaller child, fine, but as two adults, it'd be a little, little tight here. But again, this is built for two people and it's perfect for it. You can sit right here, have conversation, have coffee together, eat breakfast, and be able to see out to your campsite. Or maybe you have a beautiful, you know, view out the side. Again, depending on where you are, maybe it's a lake out the side, maybe, you know, a little bit of uh, ocean front, get some bay views right here. This gives you the ability to do it. And this is the view that I want. If you're at a standard campground, you know, I want to look at my campsite, not out at my neighbors, and that's what this allows me to do right here. Nice big window, too, and this does open up. If you don't want to run the AC or maybe you don't have shore power, fine. Open up some windows. This gives you the ability to do it and get that ventilation coming through. Storage across the top, you can see that. You know, the pulls, I'll open one up for you just to kind of give you an idea of storage. So good storage up there, too. Uh, while we're up top, you can see LED lights. It's another big one. If you're going somewhere, you don't have shore power. Folks, 10 of these LED lights use about the same power as one of the old halogen bulbs. So you want to talk about energy efficient, this will definitely do it for you. You have a vent up top, and as we talked about earlier, the AC will be located there. If you want TV, this is where the TV will mount. They have a backer in the wall, so you know exactly where to put it. All the connections for it are right up top there. 
Um, so that way you're good to go. This one is pre-wired for Wi-Fi too. So if you want the, uh, you know, the connectivity when you're gone, you know, maybe you have to have it for work and you want a portable office, this is another great option for it. You can have that hooked up. Now, of course, you know, that will come with its own separate charge. It'll go through a cellular company, but the fact that you can have that hooked up is amazing. And again, it's prepped and ready to go for it. Now, this dinette does drop down into a bed as well, but remember folks, it's a pretty small dinette. So therefore it's going to make a fairly small bed. Probably not good for an adult. Uh, if you have a, a little one, you know, that you want to, to bring along, they can drop down right here. It's also good for a young family. You know, when my wife and I went, when my daughter was a lot younger, my, my middle daughter now, you know, she's five and a half now. Um, but when we all used to go out, what we'd do is we'd drop the table down and Lumen would actually sleep right here on the table. We'd get a pack and play. We'd take all the cushions off and you have a big flat surface. We'd put the pack and play right up here and then she would sleep there. Now, mind you, she wasn't old enough to crawl out of the pack and play. That's definitely a safety concern. You know, I know most of them are pretty deep, but if your kid's crawling, please don't put them up high. Please don't do it. Uh, but otherwise, you know, again, it, it can, for a newer family, can make uh, a great addition in a smaller camper where you can still get out and really uh, start to enjoy camping. The thermostat right here is for the heat, folks. Uh, the, the AC unit will have all the controls on the AC itself, but this will be for your heat to make sure you're nice and toasty in here. So if you want to get out and do some cold weather camping, again, this unit gives you the availability to do that. And remember, folks, all of that for under five bucks. And we're talking $4.55 a day. That is an incredible price for what you get. Now, this is a rear bath model. I'll take a seat right here just to kind of show you space. Uh, it's, you know, I'm six foot tall. I'm a little over 210 these days. You can see I have plenty of leg room, also shoulder space, no problem here whatsoever. You know, I mean, I can, I can sit here comfortably. I don't feel cramps, nothing uh, to that effect. Over to this side is our sink. You can see right here, our uh, sink right there, the vanity top here. So you have, uh, you know, some extra space there as well as an electrical outlet if you need to plug anything in. Storage both up top as well as down below. Normally there is a mirror here. Uh, I actually accidentally broke it. I was trying to adjust it and um, ended up snapping it. So we got that all cleaned up, but there will be a mirror, mirror here so you're able to see yourself. Uh, sorry about the damages. You can take that one out of my paycheck. <laughs> Uh, right up top, you'll see the LED lights. And then if we take a look over to the side, you're able to get around there, Fritz. Sorry, I know it's a little tight. We have a big camera rig. I do want to step in here just to show you, because this is a big one for me. When you're talking about smaller RVs, right, as I mentioned, this one comes in at just over 3,000 pounds dry. Folks, look at this. At six foot tall, I can still stand up in here. Now, you know, my head, my head is brushing the ceiling, but that's usually not the case. And something this light, something a little bit smaller like this, you normally have to bend down at six foot tall. Here, I have the capability to actually stand up and shower, and I love that. That is a big one for me, big selling point of this particular RV. And again, if you're thinking about getting out there, folks, we, you know, we you know, talk about um, you know, doing a little bit more boondocking where you don't have hookup. This one has a 38 gallon fresh tank, 30 gallon gray, 30 gallon black. So it's plenty to be able to get you out there, do what you need to do. If you love this RV and this is the one for you, remember folks, text RV to 46642 to lock in that price of $4.55 a day. If you like what you see here, but maybe you want something else, maybe you want something a little bit bigger, maybe you want a sofa, right? Maybe, uh, you know, you, you just want a different design altogether. Maybe you don't like the colors. That's great. Here's the thing. We have over 80,000 RVs that are on order that are coming in. We have over 20,000 that are sitting on our lots. What that means, folks, is we will have an RV for you. We have one up for pretty much every lifestyle, every budget, every color, every floor plan, whatever you want, we have something available. And all you have to do to get your hands on them, to be able to lock in the price for here at the show, be able to take advantage of the great pricing we have and make sure that you're going to get something before the camping season is to text the word FRESH to 466 Four, two. And when I talk about the camping season, I do want to talk about this real quick because a lot of people have a misconception that the camping season, right, is like March to August or September. And yes, while that is the main time everyone goes camping, folks, veteran RVers know that the time to shop for RVs, for your RV supplies is now. It starts in January, right? That's when you start being able to, to get everything. If you wait until, you know, March, April, May, you know, if you're thinking, oh, I have this big, uh, you know, something for Independence Day for July 4th, we have this big trip planned. If you're not shopping now, chances are you're not going to get the RV you want. Take advantage of the inventory we have, the inventory we have coming in before it's gone. Text that word fresh to 46642 to make sure you're able to get the one that you want. 
If we take a look over to the kitchen, you'll see the big countertops. Now what they have done is they give you a bigger sink. You'll see a lot of setups like this when you talk about smaller RVs. Sometimes they'll give you a small sink and a two burner, sometimes a bigger sink and a two burner. Um, it, now here's, here's my thing, right? For the sinks, I, I'm, I'm kind of an all or nothing guy, right? Like either give me the small sink and the two burner or the big sink and a three burner. They kind of went in between, but I don't necessarily dislike it, right? I do like having a bigger sink because I don't want to necessarily do dishes every time I cook. At the end of the day, sure, no problem. But the bigger sink allows me to set some stuff down in there, so I do appreciate that. A high-rise faucet, of course, makes it easier to wash. You'll also see the electrical outlet there, which is a necessity. You'll notice storage underneath. I'll open that up for you so you can see, so you have a spot for some of your pots and pans. Of course, a drawer and furnace right there underneath to, uh, you know, so you have some direct heat to help heat things up. If we take a look up front, you'll notice storage all across the front here as well. So wardrobes on both sides, storage right up across the top there, electrical outlets on both sides. So if you have a CPAP machine, you have a spot for it, USB ports, in case you want to charge cell phones, tablets, plenty of space there for anything you need to set for a nightstand too. One of the things I really like is if we take a look underneath the mattress, look right here. You have like a little kind of, uh, I don't know, cubby hole or foot locker space, right? So you can kick your shoes off, toss them underneath there as soon as you come in the camper. Maybe you have some slippers you like to wear. You can toss those under there. Maybe even a dirty laundry basket, right? You can put it underneath because look, it's nice and easy to access. You just throw clothes right down in there. And when I lift this up, you can also see it gives you access to the pass-through. So you have multiple different places you're able to access uh, items that you put in that pass-through. So as we come outside here, we can take a look at that pass-through. Come on up front with me and I'll show you. So right here is what I was talking about. So you have this big pass-through you saw when the bed lifted, you have the access to that. And this is a huge pass-through storage space, folks. Again, on something that weighs a little over 3,000 pounds dry, this is not something you normally get. All this space, look how wide that is. You can put in bigger chairs, you can put in bigger grills. This allows you to do that. We talked about doing some boondocking, right? Hooking up where you don't have water, where you don't have power. Chances are you're going to want solar and this one is prepped for it. So that way you can park it out in the middle of the woods, grab some solar panels, plug it in, it'll trickle charge your battery, you'll be good to go. Up front, you'll see the front end. So one of the things about Ozark, right? This one has the Ascent package. So what that does is it gives you the nice metal front like uh, we normally have on the Ozark. It's nice and smooth, easy to clean, very durable. But on the side, it goes to fiberglass instead of aluminum. So one of the things I really like about the Ozark is it gives you that option. The Ascent package here, that fiberglass exterior, again, super easy to clean, nice and lightweight. Uh, and, and again, it just looks absolutely beautiful. Power awning, you'll see the LED light strip on there so that you have light at night. You don't have to buy your separate lights. If we drop down below, show you this real quick. You have a couple steps that roll out here. Those are aluminum with the grips and you have a grab handle, which makes it nice and easy to get up into the RV or to come back out. Now remember folks, this is just one of a couple of the different <laughs> couples RVs we have. We have a ton of couples travel trailers available on stock or in stock. We have more coming in. All you need to do to take advantage of the show pricing is text the word fresh to 46642. Again, this one is the Ozark 1660 FQX and is as low as $4.55 a day. Nellie and I were talking about couples travel trailers mm -hmm. and I know you have kids, yeah. but you're technically still a couple. Yeah. I feel like you can make it work as a weekend warrior, even with the kids. What do you think? Well, so for your situation, it's just you and Caleb, but you got a baby on the way. I think for a weekend warrior, you could definitely make it work with a kid or two because the dining table comes up yep. or down, so yep. it could be a table or they can just stay in a tent outside. Whatever works for a weekend warrior, it could work. For full-time RVing, I don't know if I'd recommend it because got to think of all the full-time toys. The toys and, and the storage and, and all of that. But yeah, I definitely think we were going back and forth. But like for weekend warriors, it, it could totally work. makes sense. And for the gra grandparents with a couple or a few um, grandkids, easy peasy. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, we have something exciting, right? We sure do. It is another giveaway. <laughs> I love your enthusiasm. <laughs> and it is a $250 Dang. merch certificate. So awesome. Are we ready for the winner? Let's do it. Okay. Come on. The winner is Carol, Carol Ricks. Ricks. We are going to try to harmonize on that I one. Know. I saw it. 
You guys, if you're interested in entering all of these giveaways, mm -hmm. all you have to do is text URBS to 46642. That's URBS yeah. or comment below. Super easy. We have $250,000 worth of giveaways. That is a lot of giveaways. And we got also the Forest River Ozark 1800 coming up. Let's take it away right here. Coming in under 3,800 pounds dry, capable of sleeping four, plus a nice big slide out, folks. This is the 2021 Ozark 1800 QSX, and I, for one, really like this floor plan. There's a lot of cool things that I've seen happen on some of the smaller floor plans, right? They're starting to get more imaginative on the manufacturing level, trying to figure out better ways to utilize space and better things that, you know, that they can do. And this is one of those. And I'll show you this uh, in just a second, but I absolutely love what they did with the sofa in here. Uh, I think it is very smart. We're actually going to start up front on this one on the queen bed. So you will notice the, the queen bed right there in the center. And, and kind of like we saw in the 1660, right? Very similar setup here. You have nightstands on both sides with electrical outlets, USB ports, CPAP machines uh, can plug in there as well as cell phones or tablets, storage. You have wardrobe on both sides, plus the storage going across the top there. And then the queen bed underneath, once again, you have like that little cubby hole foot locker space right there. So, you know, any shoes can get stored under there. And this one's a little bit further from the door, so you would have to walk through the camper. So I would much more likely put, uh, as I mentioned, like a laundry basket in here for dirty clothes, maybe my slippers off to the side, but you still get all that access to the pass-through right there. So you still can get some of those larger items out of there. Now let's get to it right right here so this is one of the things i really love about this floor plan it is very unique and so this is the slide out so if you're looking for something that's lightweight as i said this one's under 3800 pounds dry it's still under 5000 pounds gvwr uh, if you're not familiar with what that is it's a gross vehicle weight rating and what that means is that if you fully load this one to the hilt right if you pack it completely full before the axles are going to break you have to be under uh, that GVWR or else you're going to damage something. So if you fully load this one up, you're still under 5,000 pounds, meaning if you have a vehicle capable of towing 5,000 pounds, you can tow this RV because when it's fully loaded, it can't be over that, right? So you'll still be good. So if you have the mid-size to large SUV, they're a couple, this is a great option for it. One of the things unique about this one that we haven't seen in, in the, like the last one, right? And the reason it's a little bit heavier than the 1660 is we get this slide out and this really helps open up this main living space. And Fritz, can you take a step back a second? Just show people you know, all the space you have right here. This is what's so great is all this extra space that slide out provides. Beautiful flooring, by the way, kind of like that herringbone pattern. Uh, but this allows you to easily move by each other, right? As people are, you know, as you're coming in and out of the camper, if you need to do some cooking or need to get back to the bathroom or the fridge, you can easily walk by each other thanks to that slide out. Uh, and or again, if you have a dog that you bring with you, that slide out provides space where now they have areas they can lay down and sleep and you're not having to step over them. So, but again, back to the part I love about it, and that is the sofa. So you'll see on one end, they gave you like a, a chase lounge right over here. And you see this? So that gives you some uh, really good space where you can sit down, you can extend your legs out there, you know, uh, nice and comfortable, comfortable backrest there too. And then next to that is a jackknife sofa. But the thing that's unique about it is the table. Now it is a little wobbly, right? Because it, it's, it's a single center post. So anytime you have a single post and a table this wide, right, you're gonna have a little bit of wobble. So bear in mind that if you're eating here, you know, you wanna make sure you're not making any sudden movements. So you're gonna, you know, throw a drink off. But the thing I like about it is it does give you a table here. So you can, you can sit here, you can eat right and because uh and you can watch tv that's a big one right if you notice right there it's a spot for a tv backer connections to the tv right up top and so you have that straight shot so you can sit here eat a meal you know be able to watch tv or the other thing i like about it because it is a single center post is you can flip the table like this and now what you have is a comfortable place to sit for two people you have like a built-in armrest you know, like a little end table right here, if you do have like a beverage, and again, you're still watching TV, you can have someone right here too, so two people can sit there, maybe even a third if they're smaller, you know, can be on the chase, and everyone can be here still watching TV, so, you know, if it's family movie night or just the two of you, you want to watch a rom-com, right, you know, laugh a little bit, cry a little bit, this uh, is a perfect spot for it here. Now, if you want to drop this down into a bed, here's the other thing I really like about this. It is nice and simple, so we're going to take the table off, just like so. And then this slides right out. So we'll lift this up. The leg comes out just like that. I'll set that over here a second. 
and I will drop the jackknife sofa down. Now you see behind it, you have plenty of big storage. So if you have extra pillows, bedding, or larger items, maybe you have uh, some fishing poles, or maybe you're going hunting, you need a place for rifles, things like that. You have a nice big long area where you can set them back there, which is uh, great because a lot of times it's hard to find big uh, storage inside, right? Long storage. You have a pass-through, but you may not necessarily want your rifles in a pass-through, right? You may want it inside a camper, and this gives the ability to do that. Or pool noodles or whatever else you want to put in there. But when this is down, here's the thing I like about it. Folks, I am six foot tall, and if I lay down here, now I'm going to leave my feet up a little so I'm not getting them on the furniture. My mom didn't raise a pig, but as you can see, if I lay down right here, uh, I have plenty of space there to completely lay down, right? Uh, and, and again, I'm six foot tall. That's something you don't get very often with a jackknife sofa, especially in a camper that is under 3,800 pounds dry. This thing's 23 foot long. It's not that long, right? So nice, short, still open thanks to the slide and lightweight. Plus you can sleep a person here easily. If you take this part off and you have two people that want to snuggle up, you know, you can put, you can put two people on there, which is why they say it's capable of sleeping four. Now, I know that four is a stretch, my opinion, right? If it's two kids, great. If it's uh, an adult, you're, you're sleeping three in here, right? You'll have one here, two here. Two adults there would be a little tight. But I do love uh, the versatility it offers. You'll see the, also this right behind it. I like that too. It's kind of like, um, you know, I, I have this at my house behind my sofa, right? I have like a table because it's a bigger sofa and I don't, I, I can't set things off to the side. I don't have end tables, you know, when I'm sitting in the center. So you'll have this behind you. So if you don't have the table up, you know, let's say you just have the sofa like this. You don't want the table there. You're sitting three people here. You still have a spot to put beverages or whatever else you want to right back here. So really cool. Again, I love what they did with this section with the slide out. I think it was very smart. Let's hit the other side. And that is the kitchen. As I mentioned, TV right up top there. You do have the, uh, the King Connect. So if you want to stay connected and have Wi-Fi while you're on the road, you have that. Storage underneath in the form of like the, the net right here. So it's easy access to anything you put in there. A little bit of storage right down below there as well. We can see that. Nice uh, drawer space, plenty of drawers. I mean, look at this. We have a bank of three drawers and because we don't have a sink here, that means you get full extension ball bearing drawers. So you have a ton of storage there. Another one here underneath the cooktop, you know? So again, in a smaller camper, that is a ton of drawer space. Great countertop space. They give you the big sink, you have a two burner cooktop and you still get prep space over here. You don't have to use a sink top cover. You still have spot to prep food, which I think is phenomenal. Because again, a lot of times you don't get that in a 23 foot RV. Two burner cooktop, nice big sink with the high rise faucet right there. If we take a look up top, of course, you have storage for, uh, you know, cups, bowls, plates, whatever else you want to toss up there. Whoops, microwave here. And then if we drop back down below, I'll show you, you have our furnace right there. So you can, you have heat. My other favorite part is this. If you notice, all the plumbing is on this side, but over here you don't have any. So that way you can have a trash can uh, in there so that you have a spot for, um, you, you know, or as you see, you have a spot for a trash can here. And then over here you have room for pots and pans, right? So they did a great job kind of using this kitchen space the way they set it up. I think it was very smart. AC up top. So if you want to be able to keep things cool, of course, you can open up windows. Otherwise, you can turn on the AC here. Uh, the, the AC is controlled on the unit itself. The, thermostat for the furnace will be located on this wall here. Another thing that we might not have noticed, but when we looked down at the floor earlier, there's no carpet in here either, folks. This one is super simple and easy to clean. Um, you know, you can just take a Swiffer to it basically or a broom, be able to keep everything nice and cleaned up. So we make our way into the bathroom. I'll take a seat here. Um, you know, I, I'm going to be honest. This one is a little tight for me. Uh, I, you know, I, I wish they would have put it on a little more angle because I think they could have made it work if I was here. Uh, but the way, the way it is currently angled, I mean, if you take a look, right, it's pretty straight, which kind of puts my knee in here. Um, so, you know, I might look into, into turning that personally. Uh, but, you know, other than that, if, if you get it turned here, you have great space, right? The angle works. Everything's good. You have the Neo Angle shower off to the side. I will stand up at six foot tall. Again, with that vent, I'm able to stand up here in the ceiling, or it's able to stand up because the vent's in the ceiling. So I can fully stand up, which is great. Uh, that's a big one for me too. Not that I use my RV shower a ton. I tend to stay at places that have facilities for that. But if you're doing, you know, again, a little bit, uh, you know, more rural camping, a little more boondocking where you don't have hookups, you don't have water, you know, uh, you don't have those facilities, having the shower in your RV is definitely very helpful. 
You see storage right there as well as, so this is more of like a linen closet type deal because you do have another medicine cabinet right over here. Um, so you get a couple areas to store items plus your sink and then a little bit of storage right down there below. And then lastly, before we walk outside, I do just want to show you your Norcold fridge freezers located right back here. The reason I personally really like this is because as I mentioned, you know, I like to have a few beverages when I camp. And what this allows me to do is I can just step foot right in here. I can grab a beer. I can head right back out, right? Makes it nice and simple, especially when you don't have an outside kitchen. Uh, I like having that fridge very accessible. I'm not bringing dirt all the way through and you have additional storage. So pantry storage, whatever else you need, you'll see all that is located there. Now, when we do take a step outside here, let's walk back up front. You'll notice the power awning and again, the LED light strip. Folks, touch of a button, that thing rolls out. Super simple, that LED light, light strip is nice and bright. So, you know, if you want party lights, by all means, buy party lights, right? We have a ton of cool ones in the store. We have flamingos, we have pineapples, we have uh, Mardi Gras glasses. I mean, there's a lot of fun things you can put on there, but if you don't want them, you just want some kind of light source, this one has definitely got you covered. Uh, same thing we noticed uh, up front here, right? You have the nice smooth aluminum front, easy to clean, very durable. You have the diamond plating helping to protect that front end from any rocks and debris that may get thrown up by your tow vehicle. As we come around to the side here, solar prep, we talked about this. If you're gonna be somewhere you don't have shore power and you're not running a generator, solar is a great idea. And all you have to do is buy portable panels that have a solar controller already built in in the back of the panel. So it essentially makes it a plug and play system. Everything's already pre-wired really is easy to get solar these days. Uh, I love that manufacturers do that for you. If you take a look at the pass-through, once again, very wide door. If you have some of those larger items, you're able to slide them in there. You know, if you got something big, there's a big space for it right there, right? You know, hope you got a big trunk because I'm gonna put my bike in it. Maybe not a bike, but you can fit a lot of stuff in there. You know what I mean? But again, folks, this is the Forest River Ozark 1800 QSX. You can pick this one up starting at 20,365 bucks, as little as $5.03 a day. All you have to do is text the word RV to 46642 or drop it in the comments section below or give us a call at 877-297-8725. If you liked any of them you saw in this session or ones we may have coming up, make sure you text the word FRESH to 46642. With the Camping World Best Price Guarantee, we'll beat any competitor price by $500 guaranteed or write you a check for $1,000. I will never lose a deal over price, ever, and I guarantee it. Learn more today at CampingWorld.com. There's the boss talking about the best prices in town. And I want to say this about Ian. We just uh, came out of this incredible vehicle. I mean, when you look at a, a Ozark like that, he talked about that shelf behind the couch. He said he does that at his house. I love that. Gave me the greatest idea for my house, but when I go into the Class A, that's one thing I really want to do. And we're getting ready to go into a larger section. Sean Parr with my good buddy Bryce from uh, the Jurgies. And Bryce, larger kitchens you know yeah. about. Yeah, I'm a fan of this section here. We, a lot of friends actually asked us, like, okay, but do you guys eat well because you're always on the road? And everyone's used to road trips, eating just fast food. But we eat better we have our own system set up and when we go visit friends we're like no we're just still gonna keep our system going eating in our kitchen and uh, so we cook a lot in the RV and we have a big kitchen in ours um, Nelly does a lot of the cooking inside I like to do the grill outside but these sections coming up the segments with all the bigger kitchens very nice if you plan on using that and it's just like as if you're in own comfort of your home but traveling wherever yeah, and this is one of the segments where Ian's going to take us through several different layouts. And we see the different uh, layouts in some of these models. And you go, you know what? Can I move the kitchen? Can I have a kitchen that's up on top? Mm -hmm. Can I get a, a bigger kitchen with a center console? Yes, you can. All you have to do is uh, talk to one of our customer service representatives. We'll get you dialed in. Our experts know what they're doing. Text 46642 or text FRESH to 46642. Yep. They'll get you dialed in. Yep. Yeah, any questions you have and looking at any of these models that you'll see, they'll connect you to them. All right, we're going to start with a Forest River Sierra 38 FK OK. Wait until you see the kitchen. My favorite part about this, six slide outs and central vac. Ian? Just because you're RVing doesn't mean you have to give up being a master chef. And folks, right here, this whole segment is RVs with large kitchens. And this particular one, this fifth wheel, has a huge kitchen. This is the 2021 Forest River Sierra 38 FKOK, -OK, and that FK stands for front kitchen. And folks, take a look 
at what we've got up here. This is in the front. You have a center island, dual opposing slides. Both of these have countertop and countertop with the residential fridge right here in the very front. So again, if you're someone that loves to cook or you, you know, like to have people over, I don't know about you, but at home, right, you know, my island, a lot of times that's where we congregate, you know, have a glass of wine, stand around the island, everyone's talking. You can do something very similar in this setup. And I really like it. I think they did a great job. So we'll start right here on the kitchen island itself. It's not a huge island, but it can't be because, you know, you have those dual opposing slides with other countertop space in them. But this still gives you plenty of prep space, especially with the sink top cover, the high rise pull out faucet. When we open it up, there's plenty of storage space underneath if you want uh, like a trash can or something in there. So good space all the way around there. And then when we take a look at one of the slides over here, you have the cooktop. You'll see that it is, uh, you know, kind of recessed, sunk in right there. You have the three burner cooktop, plenty of space on both sides, electrical outlets. So if you have a coffee maker, margarita machine, toaster, uh, electric skillet, whatever it is, you have space to plug it in over here. Plus, you get the large oven right underneath if you want to do some baking. A ton of drawer space in here, folks, on both sides. And take a look. One of the cool things about Sierra, we start talking about, you know, higher end fifth wheels, right? Look at that. You get slow close drawers. Not only that, but you also have slow close cabinet doors. And that's all the way throughout. They did a fantastic job. So you see you get all that space over there, but it doesn't stop. Look at all this pantry space. You get huge space right down below there as well. The residential fridge, LG fridge. I mean, look at this thing. You have so much thinking space in here. Right underneath is your freezer. It does have an ice maker. So again, you know, that's a pretty big deal for me. I like having easy ice. You know, I can uh, make cocktails anytime I want. Just pop it right in there, good to go. And that is a lot of cold storage. You'll see a microwave right over there. Again, more electrical outlets underneath. So if you want this to be your coffee station, you can. USB ports there, you can see storage for pots and pans right underneath that because you don't have like a middle divider, like a style or anything there. So it's big, wide storage. All solid surface countertops all the way through here again. This whole countertop, more electrical outlets and more storage all the way through. So I'm telling you folks, if you're looking for one with a big kitchen, you want a lot of uh, countertop space, a lot of storage in the kitchen, this might be the one. But if, if, you if you're seeing it so far and you're thinking, you know, Ian, I like it, but I don't want my kitchen up front. That's okay. There's a lot of other options out there. There's a lot of RVs with big front kitchens. And we're going to go through some of those today, but there are a lot more. And so if you are interested in having a big kitchen in your RV, what you're going to want to do is text the word FRESH to 46642 because we have over 20,000 pieces of inventory on our lots. We have over 80,000 pieces that are on order coming in straight from the factory. And you're going to want to check them out. You're going to want to put your name on one or at the very least help us make sure, let us help you make sure you're getting the perfect RV and all you have to do is text that word FRESH to 46642 to let us help you out and lock in the amazing show pricing that we're having for the Ultimate RV Show now tour. Now from here you'll see another something that's a little more unique and that is your kind of dining area here. I personally like this. I think this is kind of cool. I've seen a few manufacturers do this in the past uh, and I've always liked it. The reason being you know, I don't sit at a table very often when it's just my wife and I. I just don't, right? We'll, we'll stand at the island, maybe on a bar stool, something like that. This for me is perfect. You know, you have the table, both people can sit right here and you have a perfect view to the TV. So if you wanna watch the news, you wanna watch the game, you wanna watch a movie, you are able to do that right here while you eat. Heading down the stairs, you'll see some things like this, right? You have a courtesy light. So that if you need to get up in the middle of the night, and as my good friend Chris likes to say, get up in that fridge and have yourself a ham sandwich, you're able to do it, right? You have that light. You're not going to trip going up or down the stairs. Uh, I like to get a lot of water. You know, I drink a lot of water at night. So this allows me to do that without falling. You'll also see right up here is your control panel. A really cool panel. Um, you know, it's, it's kind of like a, a multiplex system, right? It's very simple and easy to use. It's, um, you know, it's not nearly as ugly. And again, 
you know, you have, you want to control your lights. I mean, take a look at this, right? Boom. There go my ceiling lights. Just like that. They cut them right back on. You can get optional heated tanks on here. So if you're going to plan on doing some colder weather camping, having heated tanks is a big deal. You want to make sure those don't freeze up on you. When we go outside, we'll see the, uh, the underbelly armor that they use on this. They have ABS panels underneath instead of your standard, you know, uh, enclosed underbelly, which is kind of like a glorified corrugated cardboard. And it, and it works, right? It's what most manufacturers use, but this system with the ABS is so much better. You can take out individual panels one at a time, and it really helps protect that underbelly. As we take a look right here in the midship, this is our main living area. And what you'll notice is it's really cool because normally this is kind of what you get in the front, right? In like a front living room. This is the setup you'll have. Instead, they put that big, massive front kitchen up there. And yeah, take a look at that. It's absolutely gorgeous. And then in the middle is that living space. So you have two opposing slides here and both of those have tri-fold sofa so just like a front living you can fold those up you have beds you can easily sleep four additional people here so in this front kitchen you can still sleep six people which is fantastic you'll also notice the theater seats here so with these you can double tap the cup holders and just like that your cup holders will light up you get the lighting underneath thomas Payne furniture very comfortable these will kick back and relax they're wall huggers so you don't have to pull them away and as we saw earlier you have a perfect view to that tv which is directly across the way the multimedia center right underneath that you do have several zones for your speakers both inside and outside also a dvd player is built in in case you want to watch a movie for your auxiliary components you have this space right here, so you can set a little Blu-ray player or something like that in there if you want. And then underneath is the nice big fireplace. And folks, not only does this look beautiful, but this does kick out some heat. And in this main living space, it'll help take the chill off so you're nice and comfortable. Storage in both of those slides too, folks, across the top. You want to talk about an RV with a lot of storage, this one certainly is not lacking. This is a window I like here. You know, it... it uh, opens it up, right? You know, it, normally it's to kind of feel like a narrow hallway, but this window does a great job of opening it up. Roller shades all the way throughout, so those work really well, plus the blackout shades to keep some of the sun out. When we come into the bathroom, a couple things I want to show you here. The first one, this space right here is washer dryer prep. So if you want washer and dryer, you have a spot for it. It's tucked away. It's not up in your kitchen, back in the uh, bedroom, anything like that. Very easy to get to. As for the toilet, I'm six foot tall, 210. Uh, you can see I have plenty of leg room, good space for my shoulders. It's a porcelain bowl too, so it'll clean up nice and easy. And for the shower, of course, we have a ton of room here, folks. I mean, you can be darn near eight foot, still be able to stand in here easily. The, uh, the hand wand is on a rail, so you can adjust that up and down. You have a seat in there to shave your legs. Of course, mirror, nice big vanity here too, so you can see there that you have plenty of space. Now, one of the other cool things when we step out of here is you will see there is a secondary entrance. And the reason I like this is because you can head from here right into the bathroom, right? If you need to uh, just hop in there and use the bathroom real quick, you can do so without bringing a bunch of dirt all the way through the RV. And then we get back into the bedroom space. Big bedroom, thanks to the additional slide out. We have five total slides in this RV. This right here being one of them with the slide out bed. Windows open on both sides for cross ventilation. You have the blue light there in the headboard. You know, if you want to kind of set the mood, uh, you have storage all along. The back wall, you'll see big wardrobe space, drawers all the way around. And then at the foot of the bed, not only do you have more storage, but you also have TV hookup. So if you want a TV in here, you have the capability of doing that. And again, there is a second AC. You can see that right up on the ceiling. Make sure things are going to stay nice and cool. Now, as we step out of the, uh, the back entrance here, one of the things I really love about this one is not only do you get that big front kitchen, but you also get an outside kitchen. And so this is a big selling point for me because, you know, a lot of people love to cook and, and that's probably what's going to draw you to a front kitchen floor plan. But sometimes there's things that you're cooking, you want to be outside and this gives you the ability to do that, right? Like if I'm cooking a hamburger, I don't want that smell inside my camper. I love the smell of a hamburger, but you know, it's going to linger and I don't want that. So what am I going to do? I'm going to throw it right here on the grill that comes with it, right? So now I'm out here cooking, hanging out, having a good time. Plus, I have my refrigerator out here with all my beverages, condiments, everything else I need. You get a sink, microwave, and some additional storage. And this is really cool to have on a couple's floor plans. A lot of times, in order to get 
your, uh, your outside kitchen like this, you need to have a bunk model. So I like when they put it on couples intended models. You'll also see the level up system. That is auto level, folks. You know, this is a high end fifth wheel. You expect high end features and they absolutely do it. You touch a button, this coach will level itself out, which is great because if you haven't been RVing, if, if it's your first time, uh, you know, leveling the coach with leveling blocks can be one of the hardest parts, right? You kind of have to pull forward, back up, pull forward, back up till you get it to the right height. But with auto level and just touching a button, it really takes all of that work out of it. Here's the other cool thing. One of the awesome things we have going on with the show. If you like this, right? Let's say you've already looked, you've done your research, you saw the, the Sierra, the 38 FKOK is exactly the one you wanted and you have a killer deal. We will beat that deal. I'm telling you folks, we will beat it. And if we can't, we will give you a thousand dollars. And I don't know about you, but I can do a lot with a thousand bucks. The worst case, you know, the, the worst case scenario is we can't beat it. You get a thousand bucks, but I'm telling you, we will, we will save you money. We will get you on the road. We'll get you living that RV lifestyle. All you need to do is text the word beat, B E A T to four, six, six, four, two. Take a look at those tires. You'll see there's bigger tires on here too, folks. Those are F-rated tires. So uh, a little bit bigger than normal, you know, a little bit beefier, which is a good thing, right? You know, we have a bigger fifth wheel. This one is almost 42 foot long, uh, weighs about 12,800 uh, pounds, a little bit of change there, dry. So again, it is a little bit bigger. Having the beefier tires is something you're going to want. You have the upgraded stairs there too, the more ride step above step system, the road armor panels underneath. Again, you know, we can't really get down there. You know what, maybe, can you drop down? Let's see if we can see it right here. Yeah, it's gonna be pretty tough. So, but you can kind of see, so there's ABS panels underneath there. And again, you can uh, get, you can undo those individual panels to be able to access anything you need to, and they are nice and sturdy. You'll see your two propane tanks here on a slide. Uh, plenty of storage there. I'm telling you folks, this is an absolute awesome, awesome floor plan. If you're interested in this one, you're gonna wanna text RV to 46642. Uh, and again, this is just one of plenty RVs with big kitchens. Sooner or later, everyone's bound to encounter someone in need. Thanks, guys. Bye. If you're one of the stopping kind, chances are it was passed down. Hey, Mom. Some good that you observed from early on. Call it going the extra mile or paying it forward. We just call it being good. Spend a lifetime doing good. Thank you. Because the next generation is watching. Hey everyone, I'm Ian Baker and I am joined with Bryce, Nelly, and little Avi with the Jergies. <laughs> and uh, today I just kind of want to go through, tell me a little bit about some of the stuff you guys got. Right? Like if I'm brand new to RVing, what are some of the things I have to get right away for inside my RV? I know you guys went from a class A to a fifth wheel, probably a little bit of change there. Just some of the things uh -huh. that uh, kind of are necessities or things that you guys have found extremely useful. There are so many things. <laughs> right? And we kind of had to learn the hard way, so we hope that everybody can just like skip all the, you know, Learning and just learn from us. The cabinet doors <laughs> opening and stuff falling out or whatever. Yeah, driving. this is all coming no. from stories and experiences. So yeah, for sure. Yeah, so we have a lot to talk about. I'm. Let's start with the living room. Yeah, Does please. That work? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, yeah. awesome. Go ahead. So for starters, we um, it's a it's a good space, but because it's smaller, it can easily fill with clutter. It can easily get especially messy and yeah yes, yes. especially with kids <laughs> but you want to be able to still use it to its full so we have a big wicker basket here that we can throw blankets in and random toys to help quickly clean up the mess well and it looks nice and it looks nice yeah, too yeah it's all intentional and really behind it is just like oh grab things throw it in you don't have to fold the blankets you don't have to yep. you just throw it in and it looks nice yeah i love it um and then we have mats that play mats that they can play on because Little kids. <laughs> right, right. And a kids hard are kids. Floor, you yeah. Know. yeah, for sure. Especially if they're starting to learn to crawl, you know, exactly. you want something a little bit little bit softer. Yeah. yeah. And a big part about those is they can they fold up, right? Mm -hmm. So that's okay. nice again so that you can quickly put it up and have an open space when you want it. Okay. Um and then even like we're talking about different bins for storage. Yeah. Storage, storage, storage. Yeah, 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 yeah. exactly. Yeah, exactly. That's organize it. In here, I mean these cabinet doors are solid. That that's Good resistance holding it with magnets, but well, not all RVs are like that. That's true. And yes. Yeah, they can just open up, and so when they do, we have a bin here, and as you can see, it's kind of barricaded. Yeah. Keeps everything organized really well. Stuff doesn't fall out. Splendor is a great game. By it, way, it is. That is. We're gonna. We <laughs> yes. should play. I, hey, I'm in. One hundred percent. Yes, we love board games, so 
that's just another example of bins like this. Obviously, we can fit another one yep. to utilize that full space. Okay, so do you guys, like, I mean, do you measure, you know, like your space before you pick out the bins, or do you just kind of yes. hope? We, we learned the hard way, uh -huh. where we're like, this will fit, and we come back, and it does not fit. And we're like, dang it. So, yeah. Bring a tape measure with you because you can't take your RV into the store. Sure, right, so right. So make sure you measure everything for sure before you buy stuff. Right on. Now, hi, and I know we talked a little bit earlier about working out, and I see a yoga mat. Yep. Yes. So, so tell me a little bit about, <laughs> like, you know, kind of stand fit on the road things, you know, you guys you guys do. Yeah, and Bryce is actually really good. He has his, like, own little gym, like, section, and it's things that we can actually bring. So he has weights that, I don't know, you describe your they're, weights. Yeah, they're weights that you can add on. So it's a handle that you can add on five plate, ten yes. pound plates. Yep. It's up to, it goes up to 90 pounds, but it wow. only takes up this much space. Awesome. So things like that, super nice and efficient. Jump rope, you got bungee resistance. There you go. All those types of things are, are good to get a resistant workout. Okay. But be light to carry, except the dumbbells, obviously. <laughs> sure, sure, sure. But um, they don't take up as much room. Yeah, they don't yeah. take as much room. And then even things like a yoga mat. Um, yep. Having that in sight and close encourages you to also... I like he did that. want to bring the rower in our <laughs> garage with the toy hauler, and I was like, no, pick other That's things. a no-go. It yeah. could fit. It could fit. You <laughs> feel me? We, we don't have a big toy back there, so we could have a row machine, but... Man, that's not a bad idea. We're yeah. a portable gym. You set everything up back there. I like where your head's at. <laughs> what, what about up front? Like, what do you guys have? Bathroom, bedroom? Do you guys yeah. replace anything up there at all? Yes. Yeah, so yeah. you want to go back there? Yeah, yeah, let's yeah. go check it out. Oh, Should so we... Maybe? I'm just all, you know... Start with the bathroom, I guess, or yeah, go ahead. I'm just here with Avi. the living room or the bedroom. Sure. Okay, so they we're still actually working on stuff in here, but we learned a lot from our last rig. So, and it's cool because the trailer, so it didn't come with like a towel holder, for example. Okay. But now we get to pick our own, and or we can figure out something else we want to do with it. So it gives us yes. a little bit of freedom to choose what we want to do. I love it. Um, so our towels right here, but we do need a towel holder, okay. and yeah. Camping World has. Oh, Lots of things yes. for your bathroom. So we're yes. actually going to go in after this and go get some stuff. I love it. Um, we're going to put a shelf right here because, I mean, depending on yeah. your rig, it would be nice to have our toilet papers here or our um, stuff for our septic tank. I, I agree. Yeah, it, it, it kind of seems like a lot of the stuff we're talking about, right? A lot of it is storage related. Yeah. And finding things that are small, a little more compact, you can kind of yeah. make things fit. Or like you said, putting in extra shelving. Yeah, and it can, you know, spice up the room a little bit. Yeah. One thing we definitely <laughs> learned from our last trip is shower storage okay you don't want to drive with just your stuff sitting there because it falls over it spills it cracks it breaks yes. you have shampoo all over your floor <laughs> learn, learn the hard way yes yep. <laughs> so there's tons of different tons of different shower storages okay. there's ones that hang over or goes over the shower head right or you on. Can put on the ground or the rods there's so many different ones so shower storage is definitely a must um okay well what about, what about in the what yeah. about in the bedroom here Okay, yeah, Bryce, want to take this one away? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's turn on this uh, okay. light here, too. Oh, yep, yep. Let's see if we can. There we, there we go. And I'm like, yeah. I'll jump on the bed. Yeah. <laughs> so, we go. following the, the storage tagline, um, we have ah, so bins, bins yeah, yep. with different things. So, like, where you got your, yeah, different types of clothes here. You got the drawers that work great. Um, also, it's good to cushion for, like, instruments when you travel. Yeah. <laughs> so, yes. that's where this I huge like stays. That. Um, more similar bins like that, that they fold up and collapse. Um, we measured to make sure we had ones that work here. Smart. In uh, our last trailer, we had lights that we added. Luckily, our trailers come with really great lights, mm -hmm. okay. but not, again, all trailers do. So we had lights that we added that, you know, that we could turn on or dim. So at mm -hmm. night we had those extra. So we don't have to yeah. get out of bed to turn off the light, but if Maybe. you're reading, exactly. just so quickly. Yeah, so yeah. check to see if your rig has that, because that was, that's true. That's a small little thing that, was nice. Yeah. Very convenient. I, I have to admit, like, I'm putting my hand here. You guys have an extremely comfortable bed. I've been in the RV industry for quite a while, and I know that this is not a stock bed. It, it's not. We actually, this is a king bed, king size bed. So okay. um, that was one thing that Nelly was like, we're doing this. And I was like, yes, we are. Yes. So we totally agreed on that. Um, this is our mattress from home. Yeah, mattress from home. We, okay. we had to fold it up and recruit some help to get it up in here. Um, but 
We love it. Yeah, and, and you'd be surprised, right? Because being on you know, a little more on the sales side, like that is one of the things a lot of people get. Uh, and you can get like sleep numbers now, like built yeah. specifically yeah. for RVs. I mean, they have all sorts of mattresses in there. Yeah, so you're certainly surprised. not alone. You know, I came in, I'm like, oh yeah, you know, that's, <laughs> that's a veteran move right there. <laughs> so yeah. during break time, if we can't find you, <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, like this is, is where I'll be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't blame you. Feel free. Feel oh, free. Awesome. Well, Melly, Bryce, thank you guys so much for kind of taking us through your RV, mm -hmm. showing some of the essentials here inside. And uh, I think it's some wonderful advice for everyone watching. Now you have a better idea of uh, what you need to start hitting the road and enjoying the country the safest way possible. Thanks, guys. We saw a fifth wheel with the big kitchen, but what about a travel trailer? Yes, folks, this is the 2021 Heartland Mallard M301. You have a big super slide, theater seating, and a massive kitchen, a ton of countertop space in this floor plan. And the best thing about it, folks, is this one is at a great price too. For the show, you're gonna pick this one up starting at $31,195. That's as low as $7.47 a day. As my good friend Jay said, this might not be a plane, but with deals like that, this one is gonna be flying out the door. So folks, let's take a look at this beautiful floor plan and why I have it included in the big kitchens, right? RVs with large kitchens, because that is a big, uh, important factor for a lot of people. A lot of people like to cook. You know, we, we have sessions, uh, we have RVs for entertaining, we have RVs for sleeping, and we have RVs for cooking. And look at all of the countertop space you get. Uh, very common in this session will be rear kitchens for this, uh, for this exact reason, right? When the back half of the RV, when, no matter what RV you get, right? The back half is generally the feature. Now, we do have things like front bathrooms, front living room where the front end is the feature, but most of the time, especially in travel trailers, it's the back end. So if you have a rear bunkhouse, that's your main feature. If you have rear living, that's your main feature. If you have rear kitchen, like this one, that is the main feature and they did a great job. So let's actually start off over here. And what you'll see is they kind of extended the kitchen into the entertainment center, right? So you get all this extra space right here. Now you can, you know, put some decorations there if you want, or you can use it as additional prep space if you want. You'll see space for a TV right up top. Now, if you do put a TV here, which I, I probably would, uh, I would also recommend getting one on a swing arm mount. And I'll show you in, uh, in a minute here why we wanna do that, uh, because of the way the seating is arranged. So we do have good, actually I'll show you right here. You know what, we do have a sofa that's basically straight across, right? So you do get a good shot there. But if you're sitting over here in the theater seating, you'll probably want it turned a little bit so you're able to have a good view from that theater seating. Um, Another water bottle, what is happening here? Uh, but we'll see the theater seating, both of these do recline, Allure furniture, so upgraded furniture on there. You have, as you can see, cup holders, perfect for a bottle of water. Uh, storage right across the top. And one of the things that's very easily identifiable with the storage, you can see how you have like the slightly barreled ceiling here, right? Um, and, and that's great, because that gives you that extra headspace. Fully laminated ceiling right up top. The other thing I like about this floor plan is you have two rows of lights that run all the way through. So um, you know, it really helps brighten this space up. In fact, back in the kitchen at one point, here, show right back here, Fritz. In the very back, you can see there's actually three lights back there, plus under cabinet lights, really makes this space nice and bright. Not only have two rows of lights, but you also have two rows of ductwork. So, uh, you know, the, the way this is hooked up, you have like a, a big H, and this will really help cool things off a lot quicker with the dual ductwork in here. So not only is it bright, but it'll also stay nice and cool. Both things that are very important. So we talked about the entertainment center up top, of course, big window there. Underneath is a bunch of extra storage. You can never have enough storage in an RV. And having deep storage like that in an entertainment center is something you don't often find. Now you will also see as that continues on, all the storage underneath the, um, the kitchen here as well, plus all of it up top. So you have a couple of drawers there, some additional storage here underneath the sink. Open that one up for you just so you can see. Uh, we need to vacuum it out, but there is space there for a trash can. And that's one of the big things for me. I wanna make sure I have space for my trash can so it's not hanging out. But clearly, plenty of prep space. You have the undermount sink, three, or sorry, undermount cooktop, three burner cooktop. It folds up just like that uh, to show you, or undermount, geez, oh, Pete, I cannot talk today. Recessed cooktop with three burners. It has the glass cover for prep space. The front one here is high output. Underneath that is your oven in case uh, you want to do a little bit of baking. 
You'll notice again, as I mentioned, storage all across the top. I'll show you that just to kind of show you, you know, what you're working with. Good storage there. Same thing right over there. We have our sink over here with the high rise pull out faucet, lifting up the covers. You can see the sink. Uh, cool thing about these covers is they are cutting board quality. So if you want to use these as a cutting board, I always recommend flipping them over using the bottom sides. So that way the top sides stay nice and clean. So that way you have a cleaner look, uh, but you still get the functionality. Of course, another electrical outlet here, plus there's one right down below. So you have a couple different places in which you can plug in other items. Another cool thing about the Mallard is the doodle station, right? So this is a chalkboard on the front. Uh, the reason this is kind of nice is if you have any kids, grandkids that are coming, it gives them something to do, right? They can take a piece of chalk, they can draw on there. Or if it's someone like my wife, Nicole, who is extremely artistic, uh, she can do something really cool here and just, you know, make it something uh, of our own, right? You know, we have like chalkboards and stuff as decorations in our house. Uh, she does a fantastic job with some of those, and that's something that she'd be able to do here on this refrigerator as well. And if you are artistic, then you can do that too, of course. Right over here to the side, some additional storage there. Just what kind of want to show you that, you know, it's not just limited to the kitchen space. On the one side of the fridge, you have the other side here too. And then as we make a look or take a look over here is our super slide. A couple things I like about this. One, if you look above the window valances, you actually have some lighting up there, which is pretty neat. Um, the reason I like that is if you have guests sleeping out here, you can just leave that on. And it's kind of a courtesy light in case you need to get up and use the bathroom in the middle of the night. The dinette itself does drop down into sleeping space. So if you need to drop the table down, you can. Also, right underneath, you can take a look right in there and see it's easy access storage. You have that on both sides, runs all the way underneath the dinette. Uh, and again, it's very simple to get to, right? You don't have to lift the cushions to get underneath there. You'll also see the sofa. Uh, this is a, um, is this a, uh, what do we got? Jackknife here? Let me, uh, nope, okay. So there we go. So you can check that out. This is pretty cool. So you do have the extra store or the extra storage uh, spot. Now this is for the dinette, right? So you can take this cushion out, drop it down on the dinette there. But this is a jackknife sofa that drops down into a bed. Now, if you don't plan, right, hear me out. If you don't plan on using the dinette as a sleeping space, you can take that cushion out and you have all that as easy access storage underneath the jackknife. So I, I do like that they, that they put that in there. I think that's kind of a, a nice extra uh, addition for the storage, makes it a little more versatile. We talked about the theater seating here, and then you have the storage all the way across the top. Now, folks, if you're liking what you're seeing, right, you like the big kitchen, you like the super slide, you like all the room that provides well lit and the double track AC in this one, you're going to want to text the word RV to 46642 to lock in the price. As I said, this one's starting at $7.47 a day. Now, if you're interested in something else, you know, maybe you want something with a big kitchen. Maybe it's something completely different. Maybe you want a bunk room. Hey, we have those two. You just have to text the word FRESH to 46642. So we take a look at the bathroom. Why don't you come on in, show the people here, Fritz. You can take a look right down below. You'll see the toilet. Now, I'm not going to sit on that one just because of uh, the space with the camera, but there is plenty of room. You know, being six foot tall, I could sit there, no problem. Plenty of leg room. You'll see the big shower. You know, you have a ton of room in that shower there. Nice big skylight as well. And then over to this side, you can see that you have a lot of countertop space on that vanity. So uh, there is good space in that bathroom. You have nice big amenities in there as well. And then when we step up into the, uh, the, the bedroom here, you will see a king size bed, folks. So uh, this one is 72 by 80. So you get the full 80 inches there, which is something you don't get very often when we're talking about uh, we're talking about RV beds. So a nice big bed. Of course, we probably should have made it. You see the bed spread right up there. You have wardrobe on both sides, storage across the top here as well as an electrical outlet. You also have electrical outlets down on the side of the bed. So plenty of spaces for that. TV hookup if you want TV. And then you will also see additional wardrobe, not only by, um, on the sides, but you have additional wardrobe space right here. So uh, plenty of wardrobe space, plenty of spot to hang your clothes. And again, we have a massive kitchen in this one, which is what this session is all about. If you're all about the kitchen, this one's got it. But not only do you have an inside kitchen, we also have an outside kitchen. So if we take a look right to the back here, take a peek. We'll see the outside kitchen on this one. So good storage space and a spot for a TV. You want an outside TV? You got it. You got a fridge, 
throw some beer in there. You have a nice little prep station. You can fold that guy out. Super simple and easy to use. Uh, on the back, let's take a look at the back real quick here and then we'll make our way up front. But you will see a square tubular bumper giving you a spot for your sewer hose. Your spare tire will mount right over there and you can see backup camera prep. So, you know, it's a decent size RV. This one I think runs about 36 foot. So if you want that backup camera, having the prep uh, probably is a good idea. Another thing about this one, folks, is tank size. This one has 80 gallons of gray tank holding space. So if you're planning on going out somewhere, you don't have sewer hookup, having the big gray tank is wonderful. You can see your fresh water inlet will be located there. Also electrical outlet in case you need to plug anything in. Making our way a little bit further down, you'll see the big power awning. That one does have your uh, LED light strip on there for light at night, couple outside speakers. One of the things not often talked about is the exterior. Now, not only is this fiberglass, but behind that fiberglass is Asdell composite rather than your Luon. And Asdell does a couple things for you, folks. One, it helps lighten things up. As I said, this one is 36 foot and the dry weight on it is under 6,900 pounds. That's pretty darn good for the size that you have. Again, it helps lighten it up. Plus, it won't absorb mo moisture. So if you've seen where you get like the delamination, you get the bubbles in the side, that's from moisture getting in the sidewall and Luan soaking that up, but you're not gonna get that with the Asdell. And it's a green material, it doesn't give that off gassing. So when you're inside on a hot day, you know, you're not gonna uh, struggle to breathe or anything like that, which sometimes, unfortunately, uh, can happen. If we take a look, you will see another propane quick connect. Um, oh, I thought, nope, maybe it's just in the back. Okay, but you will see uh, your power stabilizer jacks on here. This one has two controls. So the one control will operate the front two, the other control will operate the rear two. You'll also see the big pass-through, and the pass-through is fully finished, which is really nice. So you can take a look at that. King Kong size storage, huge storage space, nice big door. You can fit all sorts of stuff in there. Big opening. You'll also see in the front, you have that front three quarter cap LED lights, you know, both running up as well as here on the side, diamond plating on the front, power tongue jack, making it super simple and easy to connect and disconnect from the tow vehicle. A couple last things I wanna show you here on the off camp side real quick, folks. One is where your uh, city water connection will be. This one does have an outside shower as, a black, as well as a black tank flush to easily wash out that black tank. And right underneath, you'll see the beautiful aluminum alloy wheels with the wide track suspension, which is a spread axle system, meaning that this one will have better towability while going down the road because you're not going to get all the sway. Again, folks, this is the Heartland Mallard M301 for as low as $7.47 a day. Simply text RV to 46642. The best things happen outdoors, and they start at Gander RV and Outdoors. Did you know that you can get a motorhome that sleeps six for only $3.29 a month? To learn more, visit GanderRV.com today. This is Bryce, I'm Nelly, and we are The Journeys. We are full-time RVers with our two little girls. We have an almost three-year-old and a seven-month-old. We have done all 50 states in our RV. We moved from a Class A to a fifth wheel and we're going strong. We have partnered with Camping World, Good Sam, and Gander RV during this Ultimate RV Show National Tour to go to 10 different locations throughout the country, show you all that they have to offer, and actually hide geocache treasures throughout this tour. So make sure you follow along with the Ultimate RV Show National Tour and join us as we go across the country on this tour. What's up guys, that was us, minus <laughs> our two little girls. We are pumped to be here, part of this Ultimate RV Show National Tour. And as you saw, so I'm Bryce, this is Nelly, mm -hmm. and we are hiding these geocache treasures as we go throughout this tour. So we're posting one tomorrow, clues for another treasure that we hid on our Instagram. So if you're not following us, make sure you're following us at the Jurgies on Instagram. 
where we'll have clues for that. And we every week we're giving away, we're hiding one to two of these treasures for the rest of this tour. Yeah, so that's 10 treasures total, and each are good for a $500 gift card to Camping World, or we actually are giving away an RV. We can't we tell are. you which treasure it is, so make sure you're following along uh -huh. and uh, you can win an RV. Yeah, and we're so excited hearing people's stories, messaging us on social media, telling us about the, the models you're looking at, the ones that you're buying, because this lifestyle we are all about. Um, it's, it's been so great for us and also for our little girls. When our first daughter was born, we lived in an RV. Now with our second, it's wonderful. We get a lot of messages. Is this really worth living? We want to do it, but we're a little nervous. Don't be nervous. This lifestyle has been so awesome, and it's been a great... I mean, for our family, we have so many new memories, and we love it. And especially, oh, so good. No, I was just with, say. with this section here, with all these family models that host, you'll see with the bigger kitchens, they're totally doable to have this lifestyle as you travel. Introducing RV123 by Camping World, the only way to buy and take delivery of your new RV, all from the comfort of your couch or camp chair. To buy your new RV the easy way, just follow these simple steps. Step one, shop till you drop. Find your perfect RV online at CampingWorld.com and schedule a live virtual walkthrough with one of our RV specialists. Step two, make it mine. Discuss financing options over the phone with a Camping World finance expert. All paperwork handled via mail. Prepaid envelopes are provided. Step three, let's go camping. Take delivery of your new RV at your home or campsite. Our certified delivery specialist will provide the same high quality walkthrough that you would receive at a Camping World dealership. There's a whole new way to buy an RV. Get your RV the easy way with RV123 by Camping World. I hear you, I hear you. You're saying, Ian, I love the big kitchens and RVs, but I want something a little more affordable. Well, I got you covered because we're going to go through the 2021 East to West Silver Lake 29KRK. And folks, this has plenty of rear kitchen space. Comes in right around 34 foot and a little over 6,800 pounds dry. And the best part about it, folks, is the affordability. Here at Camping World, we have over 100,000 units on the lot and coming on order. So with that, of course, we have everything for every lifestyle, every budget. If you're looking for a big kitchen for a little bit lower price, this is one of them. For the show, this one's going to be starting at $25,345, which is as little as $6.26 a day. And look at what you get. I mean, we'll take a look at the floor plan here. You get this big slide out over here, really helps opening up this this main living space, right? You kind of have the living space in the center, rear kitchen. We talked about that a little bit ago, how a lot of your big kitchens and RVs are rear kitchens. Now, you know, the Sierra was an exception with the front kitchen, but most of the time, especially in travel trailers, it will be here in the back. The thing I really like about this floor plan though, is right here, right? So you got the big kitchen in the back, which is awesome, but you still have a space to hang out. You still have a space to, you know, be with each other, be with family, with friends. You have a, a couple of recliners right here. You can just sit back, relax, you know, kick back, throw the feet up, watch TV. If someone's sitting on the sofa or in the dinette, everyone can be involved in conversation, which is one of the reasons I just love this floor plan. Plus you still get the massive kitchen back here. And with that, take a look at this, right? You wanna talk about some hidden storage? Fritz, can you get in there? Look how deep that storage area is. I mean, that is a extremely deep storage space. You can fit a ton of stuff in there. Uh, and it's kind of hidden off to the side. But not only that, you can see here, plenty of drawer space, three full extension ball bearing drawers, all of this countertop space. And I love this right here because for me, this is where I'm gonna do most of my prep. I do have some space back here in the corner, but that's gonna be more for you know my toaster, my coffee maker, uh, you know, margarita machine, whatever, a blender, you know, a juicer, you know, hey, trying to be healthy for 2021. Uh, for the record, I'm down nine pounds. <sighs> yeah, that's right, it's been a good year. Um, but right here, right, so this is you know where I'll be doing most of my prep work. So I love having this extra countertop space. Plus I can sit here and I can still talk to people. Who's ever sitting in the chair, who's ever over in the super slide, we can all be here and have conversation. 
Uh, and again, I still have an electrical outlet there, so if I need to put like electric skillet or something right here, I can certainly do that. Also, the style of countertop, it is a thermal foil countertop or thermal formed, a couple different names out there for it, but basically what it is, is it's kind of an in-between countertop, right? Uh, you know, it, it kind of at the base level, you have T-mold, and then you step up into the thermal foil countertop, and then lastly, you know, the most expensive would be solid surface. The nice thing about this is uh, the, uh, the upgrade over T-mold is the fact that you don't have, well, the T-molding, so it's not gonna pop off. That also helps with prevent water penetrations. With T-mold, you know, if it pops off right here in the corner, you get water down in there, all of a sudden your countertop's rotting out, so it helps prevent against that. So because of that, it also allows you to undermount the sink. And that's a big one for me. I, I like the way it looks, it's a much cleaner look. You can get a little bit more of a flush design if you have sink top covers on here. You know, it's easier to clean your countertops, you can brush it right here into the sink, and you don't have a lip that gets all dirty. Plus, it's a little bit lighter weight, or quite a bit lighter weight than true solid surface. You know, as I said, this one comes in a little over 6,800 pounds dry. So, you know, if you put solid surface in there, you're definitely gonna add some weight, and you know, Right around that weight, we don't want to add too much. We still want to make it half ton towable. Take a look underneath though, you will see some good storage space there. And then over to this side is our oven as well as the three burner cooktop, front one being high output. You have, you know, kind of like the subway tile looking backsplash there, hood, microwave, and storage all the way across the top. Of course, you have your vent right here in the kitchen, so when you're cooking, you can open that up. You have some speakers if you want to listen to some music while you're back here cooking. You'll we'll open this one up for you. Fridge freezer combo. Again, plenty of room in there. This one does have propane and electric automatic switch over on there. And underneath, take a look at that. Nice big storage for additional pots and pans. And again, folks, all of this starting at $6.26 a day. All you have to do is text the word RV to 46642 to lock in that pricing. You'll see big storage right over here too, excellent pantry storage, plus you have the cubby hole right down below and uh, an electrical outlet. So plenty of room there. Now let's talk a little bit about the super slide. Big dinette, that, that's a big plus for me. I mean, take a look at this. I'll, I'll scooch in here just to kind of show you. But I mean, if I'm sitting right here, I can easily fit another person here and we'll still have plenty of elbow room. If I have a kid, I might even be able to fit three people on this side, right? So it is very large, which I like. I like having a bigger table, uh, mainly because I like to do puzzles and I like to play games when I camp and a larger table allows me to do that. This of course does drop down into a sleeping space as well. So if you need some additional sleeping, that is one of them. Uh, you will also see the sofa, you'll get additional sleeping space there. This RV can sleep a total of five. Another cool thing, you can pull that out. Big, easy access storage of all the different designs. I prefer a drawer. The reason being, if I have a swing style door, I still have to get down on my hands and knees to reach down in there. I don't wanna have to lift up the cushion, you know? I mean, I can, right? And you'll see they put grommets in there so you don't cut up your finger. Another one of those small things I really like, you know, and manufacturers pay attention to small details. But I don't wanna have to do that in case someone's sitting here. But with this, I can just pull it open, grab whatever I need, put it right back. So that is definitely my preferred style. You will also notice there's an electrical outlet underneath the table. So if, you know, you're doing uh, any kind of work, you wanna put a laptop there, tablet, something like that, you can do it no problem. Moving over a little bit, so we have storage above the sofa. Uh, if you've seen a lot of my videos, you know that, you know, this is kind of a, a point of contention, right? I have people that go both ways. Some people like the additional storage. Some people like bigger windows. Here in the Silver Lake, they went with more storage. If you want something with a bigger window instead, hey, we, we have RVs with that too. Uh, we can help you find those. All you have to do is text the word FRESH to 46642 and let our experts help navigate you through to find the perfect RV. And this might be one of those small details that we are able to help you with. As we drop down below though, as I mentioned, this one is your jackknife style sofa. You'll see all the storage that we have underneath there. The great thing about the jackknife is that you get a ton of storage and that's very easy to access. Um, so if you can put pillows down there, large bedding, things like that. TV will go here. Plenty of, the thing I like about this is you, no matter where you're sitting in this RV, other than the dinette facing the opposite way, but one of the dinette seats, the sofa, the chairs right here, all of that is able to see the TV, storage across the top, and storage right down below. So we make our way up front. I'll close this. Take a quick peek into the bathroom here. So if you take a look at the bathroom here, I'll just, I'll just step in here for you. 
So first thing I wanna show you is the toilet. So uh, it is a little tight on my right side. You know, I might need to lose a few more pounds to be here comfortably, uh, but as far as the legs, I do have plenty of leg space. Got uh, my sink right over there, good storage running all the way up, right? So if linen closet space, I have spot for my towels, medicine cabinet. And then if I take a step into the shower here, you'll see at six foot tall, I have more than enough room, right? Uh, especially with that skylight, no issues there whatsoever. The shower uh, curtain is built right in there, so you can just close that up. It is water resistant so, or mold resistant, so you can just fold it right back in. You don't have to worry about wiping it down, drying it or anything like that, super simple. Now, I'm gonna have you take a step back, there we go, so we can close that one, gotta do a little dance here. Take a step up into the bedroom. So, a couple things I wanna show you here. One, take a look at the size of the bed. You have a huge bed in here, king size bed, so uh, that's actually a standard, folks. That's not any kind of option that comes standard. Nice big bed so you're not elbowing each other. You have storage on both sides, wardrobe storage, storage across the top, plus, can't really see it, but you do have additional wardrobe storage right here with a hanging rod and spot to uh, put a TV right there at the foot of the bed. So if you wanna watch a TV at night, you can definitely do so. And remember folks, this is just one of many Silver Lakes we have. If you're, if you're interested in Silver Lake, maybe not this specific floor plan, but you'd like another one, all you have to do is text that word FRESH to 46642 and we will help you, uh, again, narrow down and find the perfect RV for you. Whether this is Silver Lake or maybe it is something else, that's okay because we have over 20,000 pieces of inventory on the lot with an additional 80,000 pieces on order. I personally really like Silver Lakes though, especially for the price. If you're looking for a, a great um, you know, ki a kitchen, right? An RV with a big kitchen at a great price, this one right here is definitely the one. Let's take a walk up front. I'll uh, unlock the door here. So just so you know, nice simple door lock. Can close that. I will show you here, you have the big grab handle as well. So you have a little bit more control when entering or exiting the RV. This is one of those things that I personally really like. You know, I, my grandma, uh, bless her heart, she still comes out camping with us once in a while, you know, wants to spend time with us and I love it. It makes me so happy, makes my heart sore, but she does have a hard time with the steps. So this right here gives her that, uh, that extra support that she needs to be able to go up inside the RV. So I really do like manufacturers put on the bigger grab handle, especially at this price point. You know, it being, uh, you know, just a little over 25,000 is where it's starting at, at $6.26 a day, it's a great price and you get a ton of features, like a power awning with LED light on there as well. We take a look in here, you can see the big pass-through. You know, what you'll notice is that is completely finished off. That's fantastic, right? So any items in there, they're not gonna get stuck. You have solar prep, if you want solar, just buy the portable panels, plug them in. Dropping down underneath, cool, a couple of cool quick things down here. Fully enclosed, insulated, and heated underbelly. So that way, you know, if you're camping in the colder seasons, it's gonna keep it nice and toasty down there. You don't have to worry about uh, any kind of road grime getting uh, splattered up on, on your underbelly. And you'll also notice it's a huck bolt frame. So upgraded frame over your standard weld. And what that does for you is a couple things. One, if it does uh, have any damage, it's easier to repair. Two, it's been shown the number one place that rust starts is at a weld seam. So the less weld seams you have, hopefully the less chance it will start rusting on your frame. Taking a quick look up front, you will see the uh, smooth aluminum front. I really like this over ribbed on the front. The main reason being, it's easier to clean. And when you're traveling, this is where most of the bug smears are gonna be. So I like having that be nice and easy to wipe down. You also see the power tongue jack right there. So it's easier to hook up and disconnect from your tow vehicle. Two 20 pound propane tanks with the cover. And then you can see a space right there for the battery. So again, folks, this one right here is the 2021 East to West Silver Lake 29KRK. As I mentioned, if you love this one, starting at $6.26 a day, text RV to 46642. That will lock in your price for the show because this is the Ultimate RV Show National Tour. Remember, we have plenty more available. This is just one section. This is some RVs with big kitchens, but there are so many others out there. And if you wanna see some of the others, text the word FRESH to 46642, drop it in the comments, or give us a call at 877-297-8725. We have got Ian working today. Buddy, I gotta tell you something. When you show these units, they're so gorgeous. And I'll tell you what, 
We have been having so much fun on stage. Sean yeah. Parr, the national tour continues, obviously, coast to coast. This is the amazing Tiffany Remington. And what did we do? Well, Ian was talking about that. We watched these segments. But we had a chance to get over to our retail store and do some shopping, right? I mean, I feel like every single store that we've been through, we've done some shopping. Let's be realistic here. Well, you guys were talking about Good Sam's earlier. And just because we're Good Sam members, we saved... 40% off, and if you're a Good Sam member, you come into one of our retail stores, or right here from home, you can actually do some shopping. Just text DEALS to 46642. You're going to get some amazing deals on everything that you see, and of course, what you can find online, too. Speaking of deals, I saw you with a full hand of product. What did you get today? My wife watches, and uh, honey, <laughs> I love you, and I did buy you something, by the way, but I bought... Uh, They're really cute. I saw them. I bought some sweatshirts that were uh, unbelievably priced, but I also bought uh, camouflage uh, stuff that I needed, and uh, I bought it's a cool. kayak. I said it! Kayak. I bought a kayak! I was waiting for you to say it. I was waiting for you to say it. <laughs> There's a lot of adventures coming because you got that Class A, and you got to put that kayak in uh. there. I, I bought all the fishing gear last week in Florida. <laughs> and, yeah, and uh, you said that you caught a fish, and I didn't see that. Well, I also I'm gonna uh, need photo for proof of this. saw an alligator while we were in Florida. That's a when long story. An alligator? We'll have to talk about that in another <laughs> segment because uh, we're going to go into one of my favorite parts. This is the customer choice mm. where we put four units up online on Sundays. You have until Wednesday to make your choice, and they chose a good one. They did, and we were, we were touring some out here. It was the Forest River Sierras, and when we saw that one with the big kitchen, I was like, it'd be nice if it flipped. And you're like, Tip, that is the customer pick. Yeah, get ready. It's coming up next. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Ian Baker, and I'm joined by my great friend, Sean Parr. And Sean, this is my favorite part of the show. This is the customer choice. Yes, because we put together four units every week, and we put them online, and we let you guys see these units inside and out. You take a look at the models, the floor plans, and you say, you know what, Ian? You know what, Sean? This is the customer pick, and mm -hmm. oh, did you pick a good one today. <laughs> yes, I completely agree, Sean. Today... We have the Sierra C-Class 3550 FL. The FL, of course, standing for front living. I can't wait to show you this unit. If you haven't uh, seen this particular one yet, wait until you see the inside. Fritz is standing by. Mm -hmm. I say we just jump right into it with both feet. Absolutely. I was in this unit a few hours ago, and I mean, I looked at every nook and cranny, and you know my favorite word is amenities, <laughs> and get ready, because we've talked about this uh, amazing section right here. When you have a, a dining room table where you can sit down and you have the chairs and it's not the booth, yes. you just feel like you're at your kitchen table. You have extra space. And then that's got that extra little the pull out to the, the end. Yes, the yeah. leaf on the, on the end of the table, which I absolutely love. Yeah, yep. And you have two foldable chairs. So, you know, if it's just the two of you, Sean, you, you just put the leaf away. Perfect, good to go. You have some guests, pop the leaf out, bring out two foldable chairs, easily storable, and it easily converts into a table for four so that you can accommodate you know, lots of friends. Because I don't know about you, but when I go camping, I like to go with friends and family. I like to hang out. I, I like to it. entertain. Or as we found out on several of our segments throughout the weeks that we've been on tour, is we meet our friends out on the road, and so many yes. of them. And uh, before Fritz uh, gets away from us too far, he's uh, he's checking out the kitchen. Now, all you do is you just turn around and bam, you're right there at the stove. My wife is all about uh, the backsplash. She loves mm -hmm. the backsplash. Sean, it's got to have the backsplash. <laughs> this particular stove and the counter space here is tremendous. If yes. you've got your friends over, you have ample room to store, to prepare, to make sure you have everything ready for all your family and friends to enjoy. Yeah, absolutely, Sean. And, and you know, you have the upgraded countertops right there. Like you say, plenty of countertop space, the, the uh, high-rise faucet, the nice deep sink. And the thing I really like about this setup too is that when you're sitting there, you're preparing food in the in the kitchen. Everyone knows, right, that I'm uh, 
I'm a fan of the charcuterie board or the, the adult lunchable, as yes, I like to call do. it. And, uh, yes, you do. You know, and, and you, can, you can sit here, you can prepare that and still be able to have conversation with everyone up in that front living area. Um, and so it's one of the things I just love about this, this floor plan in general. It's just excellent for entertaining and for having people over. Everything uh, that I found was at my fingertips mm -hmm. when I was standing in the middle of the kitchen because I pretend like, okay, I'm preparing something. I'm getting the steaks ready to take outside or ready to go. And I looked up and I see the etched glass in yes. the cabinetry here, the cabinetry here. And then you look over and you see the size of this oven, this uh, microwave, and you yep. go, man, this thing is huge. You could put anything in there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a 30-inch microwave, uh, you know, which is a... It, residential size. I mean, that's something you would have at your house, you know, above your range. And, um, you know, I, I talked about it before, I microwave things once in a while, you know, whether it's a microwave burrito or maybe some leftovers from the night before. But one of the things you really hit on, Sean, that I love is that cabinetry, because a lot of manufacturers, right, they go with the wooden doors. And there's nothing wrong with that. I like it. Sure. But I love that they went glass all the way across the top in there. I think it adds something, right, to just kind of the, the beauty of, of that kitchen space. One of the things that Fritz and I were talking about was the special etching in the glass. And you mm -hmm. know, we talk about little things that make such a big difference. The lighting under the counter yep. uh, that you can see there gives you ample lighting for yep. all that space that you have when you're preparing your food. You got a window there that's going to bring in plenty of light when you're getting it done. But then, uh, of course, that etching in the glass, I'm going to go back to this because it's throughout this amazing unit as well. And then you turn around to your right and uh, the refrigerator is right there next to where you were sitting uh, in that area. That's mm -hmm. part of the slide out. Yes. So that gives you so much room to put that big, and what is that? Uh, I mean, give me the cubic feet on this refrigerator because that's one of the bigger ones. Ooh, man, Sean, I'm going to get fact checked on this one. I, 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 know, <laughs> I know it is 12 volt. I'm going to say, gosh, I want to say it's like 16 cubic foot, but don't quote me on that. Um, I will have to check. But it is, yeah. it is a 12 volt refrigerator, which are, are becoming a lot more popular in the industry because they, they cool down as fast as like a residential refrigerator, but they don't have to run off 120. They can run off 12 volt, meaning they can run off your batteries. So uh, what a lot of people are doing is they're getting uh, two batteries, two of your, your deep cycle batteries, getting solar, and you can run this thing almost indefinitely. Wow. Yeah, which is super impressive. And I love that you absolutely said 12 volt because that makes a big difference. Like mm -hmm. you said, when you're talking about conserving energy or getting an extra battery, having to do something, running it off solar indefinitely would be awesome too. I mean, there's so much room for storage in there. We go back to all the time uh, talking about this is our home. This is where yep. we really feel comfortable. We don't have to get too much extra stuff because we can fit everything from our house inside here, kind of double everything up so we can just get in and go and not have to worry about it. When it comes to the groceries and stuff, obviously you stop off, you pick up a couple things you need on the way, but most of your necessities, your mustards and, and all your uh, condiments and stuff, they're already in there and they're already being taken care of because there's so much room. And, and when you talk about storage, Sean, especially with this floor plan, I think what really sets it apart is right there. That is a ton of storage. A lot of front living room floor plans, they kind of differ what they do here. Sometimes they'll put in a little bar space. Sometimes it'll be a little prep area. Uh, what, what they did in the Sierra here is they went with just massive storage all the way through. I mean, you can see, you know, you have two sets of uh, four doors, I think. You have four on top. Yeah. Uh, I think it's three on bottom, I guess. But, I mean, just a ton of storage all throughout that whole space. And that's one of the things I really noticed when I was walking through this unit. Everywhere I turned, I had a new hiding place for something. Yep. And you'll see as we go through this unit, uh, right here, obviously. I mean, we're talking about right there in the kitchen area, right there where you're sitting down. If you're playing the games, the games are going to be right there. Yep. You just pull them right over exactly. to the table. Next thing you know, we're playing Monopoly or whatever it is we're going to play. Mm -hmm. when, uh, when we have our guests and our friends over, you got the poker chips in there. If the guys are coming in or you got uh, a little gin or whatever, you have a little fun. And <laughs> you can even talking. keep uh, make, it, make one of those into a wine cabinet, which I think would be a nice little storage area. Yeah. No, no, absolutely. I, I agree with you. Um, Sean, I don't think it's too much of a secret that when I camp, I, I like a few beverages. And so, you know, when I'm looking for stuff, I look for a place to put them, and I'm seeing one right there. Yeah, that could be the liquor cabinet for sure <laughs> if it's just the wife and I or uh, Ian and I hanging out with the fellas. And now this is interesting because I, I know what Fritz is doing here. He's trying to save the best for last, but we're going to make a little <laughs> right-hand turn and go up the stairs here. Yes. And I love that Fritz opened the cabinets, first of all, and the fact that he was able to do that. Thank mm -hmm. you for doing that. But this, I 
couldn't believe this area when we got here. Yes. This is my favorite living room, sleep space, entertainment center. There are so many things to talk about in this area that are hidden that you really can't see, but I'll let you start with where we're sitting. Yeah, so so like you said, Sean, this is a, a big front living room to begin with, right? Um, and the, the reason that a front living room appeals to a lot of people is it feels like home. Yeah. You know, I when I'm home, I spend the majority of my time in my living room, and, and this has that feeling feel that space. You can see that beautiful front window letting in a ton of natural light. You have windows on both sides, right? I mean, just windows all around here. So it's a nice, bright, light space. You, you want to be there. You have the bench seat over to the side, then that has storage underneath it. Yep. And that's something that's unique here. Uh, a lot of front living rooms will have sofas directly across from each other. They'll have slides on both sides. But by eliminating the slide on the, on the camp side right there, they did a couple things. It gives you a little more storage outside, and because you don't have a slide, it gives you more camp space outside too. People don't oftentimes think about it, but when you have slides on the campsite, it, depending on where it's at, especially if it's up front, it's gonna take from that campsite a little bit, but by eliminating that, you get all that extra camp space. You have excellent seating all the way throughout here. You have a sofa that pulls out into a bed, the theater seating, and then this unit for a front living is fairly lightweight. You're about 10,600 pounds dry, which for as big as it is, is pretty darn good. And right there is where I find that hard to believe that this is just, you know, that kind of weight for this kind of quality. And Fritz, great shots, by the way, yes. of the, the wood paneling around the outside, the finishing touches that they do. And I mentioned this earlier in the kitchen, but look what they did with all the wood uh, finishing around the outside. Yep. And the window in front, this needs to be uh, pointed out because yes. the window in front, to me, usually when you see a fifth wheel, it's that area that's, you know, kind of neglected. It's the you certainly can't use it as an outdoor space. It's usually a closet. Yeah, but, and look what they did to it. They put the window in there. They, yep. They've got a space. They actually have a pull down. So if you want a little privacy, but you want a little bit of light at the same time, look at Fritz just dialing it in there. Bam, just yep. like that. All of a sudden, you've got yourself a nice little privacy area. Yes. And the rest of it's all nice and lit up because you've got like you said, windows all the way around. And let's go back to that bench seat for just a moment. Yeah. Because that bench seat is so important. When I saw that, I thought, you know what? That's brilliant. Because what that did was, we've got plenty of seating on the couch that folds out into a bed. We've mm -hmm. got plenty of seating on the other side as well. And now you've just really opened that up and given yourself plenty of space to say, what else do we want to do in here? Because we can do yep. some line dancing in there, for goodness <laughs> sakes. Yeah, no, I, I agree with you, Sean. It, like I said, it is a super open front living area. Um, and, and I'm glad you brought up the shades. Those are, are blackout roller shades. And roller shades are going to be upgraded. They, they function very well. It's something they took from the motorhome world a few years back. Started putting them in fifth wheels. And even once in a while now, we're starting to see them in travel trailers. Um, and and they, they do a phenomenal job, like you said, because they're blackout, give you complete privacy at night. Yeah. And look at the lighting in there also. Okay, Fritz, thank you for waiting for this one because we're going to do the big reveal now. Yes. When I walked over here and I saw this cabinetry and I saw the fireplace down below that, by the way, is again, uh, it has a whole entertainment system down there. Yep. And watch this. We're going to push a button. And I was like, well, where would the TV go? And you push a button and ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls dun, of all dun, ages, dun. look at this unit. Yes. This right here. Uh, where do I sign? I'm putting my name on the contract. I want this unit. I couldn't believe how big this screen was that yep. came out of that cabinet. Yeah, yeah, it's absolutely phenomenal. And, and that's the thing, Sean. You know, the, the reason I love this so much, and in the industry, it's been, it's been coined a, a televator, right? Like an elevator for a TV. <laughs> I know, super clever. Um, nice. But the reason I love this is because for some of us, right, we, we go camping, we want to uh, kind of get away from electronics. Like my good friend Chris Young says, it's a good time to just sit down and reconnect. And, and, and you can do that here, right? You can lower the TV, you can enjoy that beautiful view out the front window, yep, which is why I'm absolutely. so glad they put that in there. And everyone can just kind of be with each other. Now, you know, after that, when you're done with that, right, and, and it's a <laughs> rainy day, and you're on day number, you know, 13 of your trip, 
Uh, maybe you want some, some electronic entertainment back, and all you have to do is pop up a button. There it is. It's easy. Like I said, I like to entertain, and so we usually have something on the TV, and this right here is, is a way to do it. I love that it just pops up and down. Yeah, it was, uh, it was a really nice surprise for me to actually see that. And when my wife is taking a nap in the back, and I want to check out the score of the uh, football game or the golf, you know, watch a little bit of golf and lay yep. back on the, the couch there and, and maybe take a little snooze myself while I'm watching... Uh, you know, the guys hit the ball around. It's a beautiful thing. I mean, there's so much space. The wood floors accent yep. everything perfectly. Yes. And then, of course, you've got vents everywhere. Yes. So you know you're being taken care of with plenty of air, plenty yep. of lighting. It's a front and a rear uh, air and uh, yes. heater yep. with, uh, with these units. And I love that. And, and one of the things I like to talk about, too, with that AC unit, Sean, is that you know, when you're up high like that, as we all know, heat rises, right? Sure. And so it's, it's going to tend to be a little bit warmer. But the nice thing about that AC unit is it has a quick dump option. So you can open up that quick dump and all that cool air will just drop right down into that room and cool you off nice and quickly. And on the, on the, uh, the other side of things, right? Yeah, there we go. Open that up just like that. You, Look see, at that. you see it open right up. So instead of going through the vents, right, it all just dumps right out there because it's going to take the path of least resistance. Wow. The other thing I love is that there's also that fireplace. And again, we're up high. So if you're cold... You kick on that fireplace, and that thing's going to do an awesome job of heating up that upper floor. I'm really glad you brought that up because one of the things I always love is the fact that a lot of people say, well, I don't really need the ambiance if I'm just looking at a fireplace. Yes, you do. Yes. Listen, I've had my fireplace for years, and I can't tell you how many times I use that as a space heater yep. rather than turning on the heat yep. in the unit because this is what it's all about. It yep. doesn't take up a lot of space. It's already there tucked in, and this makes a great little heater if you just got a slight little chill and mama's in the back and she's mm -hmm. got the heater going, but you're not quite ready for that. Let's just <laughs> Just, uh, let's turn on the fireplace oh, yeah. and just heat it up enough. Get, get nice and cozy in my Snuggie. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you, I'm glad you said that out loud. As Fritz starts to move in the other direction here, and you know we've seen some remarkable uh, finishing touches. We've seen the windows. We've seen the floors. We've seen the great areas where we can sit. Sold. Done. Yes. But it only gets better from there. Mm -hmm. We talked about the kitchen, all the spaciousness. Look at that on the counters. Yep. The unbelievable cabinetry that they put in there. Let's stop and take a look right here on the left-hand door of the bathroom. And I think you're going to be really impressed before we get to the master bedroom. Oh, maybe he's going to... Okay, Fritz, that's <laughs> okay. He's trying to turn it around, I think. Yeah, there, there we go. There it is. There we go. This bathroom, I actually walked into it because mm -hmm. I wanted to do my Ian Baker impersonation <laughs> in the shower. And one of the things that I did... Sounds weird when you say it that way. I know, it really it came out completely <laughs> wrong, didn't it? But I sat down in the shower just to kind of see how comfortable... And that ceiling is so high. Yes. You don't normally see that. Correct. Yep, yeah, because a lot of times, right, when you're looking at your bathroom in a fifth wheel, it's up the stairs. And you go yeah. up the stairs and there's your bathroom. Well, you lose all that ceiling height. But when you shift things around and you put the living room up front and the bathroom shifts to the back, you get, you know, that, that full height from the top to the bottom of that fifth wheel. And you just have a ton of space. So I'm 6'1", you're what, 6'2"? I wish, six uh, foot. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but, I mean, you getting in a shower, well, that's one of the things you always do when, you, when we look at units that you and, and, and Chris Young provide. And, yep. and you guys like to look at the showers and stand yes. in the showers. Yeah. And one of our friends who is uh, from the R Soful RV family, uh, Keith Sims, Keith is 6'6", six, six, I believe. Yeah, he's a big, he's a big guy. He could, you could put a seven-foot person in here. Yep. And, of course, you've got the nickel uh, foundation there with the stainless steel. It's beautiful. Yep. Plenty of detachable uh, shower heads and everything that you need. But the got shelving the in there as well. Yeah, and I love the arm yep. so that it makes it so convenient. Yes. Yeah. And, and I'm right there with you, Sean. So, you know, when we talk about Chris and I getting in the shower, right, there's a few things I, I always do when I, when I go through RVs. And I get in the shower. I sit on the toilet. Because I, I want to know that it's practical. You know, I've, you can have a shower there, but if I can't turn around in it, you know, if I can't move in it, it doesn't do me any good. You know, I, I have to still be able to wash. Yeah. So, so I like to be able to make sure that it can happen. And, and this one definitely has plenty of room. You can see, you know, like the little seat there in the back. Um, you know, I talked about it before. My wife always loves it, the shaved legs. And, uh, you know, I like the wallboard, a little more decorative. And that arm, like you said, is, is fantastic. Yeah, you don't want to feel like you're on a cruise ship. 
You know, right, right. it's like, you know how those can be sometimes where you're, you know, in there squeezing. And then, of course, if you want to get in, I'm going to go back to one of my favorite phrases that you guys ever do is the confused dog where you just kind of <laughs> and you're uh, and you're, you know, trying to get yourself into a shower when you all you want to do really do is feel the hot water on your body and take a minute and relax a little bit. So you've got plenty of cabinet space yes. in there, too. As Fritz turns around, you're going to see there is so much storage throughout this incredible unit. And that is the one thing I love the yes. most. Most. I don't yep. want stuff hanging out everywhere. I, I just, I'm one of those guys. I don't want to say I'm a little OCD, but I'm really close. Uh, that's <laughs> my wife would, would disagree. She would say I completely am. Full, full OCD. I just like everything in its place. I like everything to go where it goes. I don't want a bunch of clutter out. I want yep. it to be, you know, I don't want it falling off when we're towing this thing and going yep. everywhere. Yep. I want it in its place. And they did that with these cabinets because they yes. put the shelf on there where everything, nothing's going to slide out. Correct. First of all. Yep. Yep, yeah, and, and I, I agree with you, Sean. I, I love having the, the linen closet in the bathroom, right? Because a lot of times, you're not afforded that space, you know, whether the RV design just doesn't allow for it, whatever it may be. But I have a lot of stuff I need to go in my bathroom. I have hand towels, I have bath towels, I have, you know, extra stuff for me. I have toilet paper, I have black tent chemicals. Like, I need space to put all this stuff because I, I don't, certainly don't want my roll of toilet paper sitting out on my, on my uh, sink top if I don't have to, you know? I love the privacy of this bathroom, too. Thank you, Fritz. And as we make our right-hand turn and go down the hallway, and again, this is such an amazing unit. I'm so glad our customers picked this particular one as yes. their choice this week. But look at what we have here. Mm -hmm. Again, with the way they did the finishing touches of the bed, the wood uh, work around the bed, and the Very etched ornate. glass in the storing up there. This is so beautiful. I would feel like, honey, let's go. We're, we're comfortable. We're at home. Yep. I feel like I'm snuggling. This is a queen-size bed, yes. which I like a queen-size bed because my wife and I have uh, a guest room with the queen, and we have our room at our house with a king, but sometimes the king's a little big. We actually do a staycation and go sleep in the queen bed all the time Aww. because we like to snuggle a lot. I like that. It's cute. <laughs> Yeah, um, I, I, I agree with you, Sean. And, and there are reading lights. Uh, they're not on currently, but underneath the cabinets, there are, are a couple puck lights there, but you can see the headboard is backlit as well. Um, and, and I do agree with you, right? Like sometimes a queen bed is really nice. The fact this one is in a slide really helps to open up that space too so you can walk around the, uh, the base of the bed there and you still get, Again, we're talking about storage, and this RV is full of it. You get a ton of storage in this bedroom. Still. Now, look at this, and I sat right on the corner of that bed, Fritz, uh, and I looked over to the left cabinet, opened that up, boom, you got his and hers. It's almost like having a walk-in closet, for goodness sakes. Oh, yeah. In the master bedroom, they are that big when you open up the closet. It's like, wait a minute, look at all the stuff we can put in here. We could have a second wardrobe. Mm -hmm. It's all good. So we've got that going on for us. Wi -Fi Plenty extended. of window space. Your Wi-Fi and everything is all dialed in right there so yep. nothing's going to really get in your way. Yeah, and, and there's storage underneath that bed, too. I mean, you can lift that bed up. It's, um, I believe, actually, that's what they, they normally store the, the chairs, right? We talked about the foldable chairs yes. out for the, the dinette area, and that's exactly where they put those. So Love there that. it goes. Oh, man, Fritz, you are the man, my friend. So strut supported. You can see, you know, he just lifts it up nice and easy. Right under there is where uh, those are housed. I love this unit so much. And when I turned around and I was like, wait a minute, we got mirrors everywhere. We got plenty of cabinet space. There, again, more little shelving areas and a nice yep. little cabinet here to put all of your stuff in. There was just a shelf against the wall there uh, on the other side as well that, that I saw. And I was like, you know what? Just sitting down on the bed and, and being able to take off my watch and have my charger right there. Yep. And then having stuff right here on top of your, your cabinets where your you know, socks can go and all that stuff, obviously, we know. And then, boom, you've got your entertainment center. Yeah, exactly. Yep, I'm, I'm a big fan. I, I don't know why. Uh, I know you're not supposed to for sleep purposes. But a lot of times, Sean, I'll, I'll wind down just watching TV. Um, and so I personally like having a, a TV a spot for a TV in the bedroom. Well, I think that's what they made sleep timers on televisions for because <laughs> my wife and I go to sleep just about every night watching. I'll watch golf or Seinfeld and, and you know, we'll put on Grey's Anatomy, an old rerun off of Netflix. And there you we'll go. just sit and the timer goes off. You know, it's, it's, and usually we fall asleep and you don't have to worry about it anymore with technology the way it is today. But you're right. Probably not supposed to be doing that. <laughs> but you have plenty of TV space here. You got the big TV in the front that we showed you. And as you walk out, boy, we've been talking so much about the inside of this. 
this thing. We got to take a look a at some here. of the outside. Fritz has done such a great job yes. with all of the amazing amenities just on the inside. <laughs> He's like, oh, got to get outside. <laughs> Wait a minute. Uh, and it might even be raining, but Fritz has been on top of it. And these guys have been working so hard for us over the last several weeks. They do such a great job to showcase all the wonderful things inside each individual unit. Yeah, and, and you can see right there as they're coming down the stairs. I mean, you have, you have the upgraded steps on there, Sean. Nice big grab handle. I mean, those are rock-solid steps. You could see as, as he was coming down, like, I mean, those steps didn't move at all. No, not at all. And we were standing, you and I were uh, standing outside this unit just a little while ago looking at it and saying, you know, some of the things that we noticed, first of all, obviously, is the storage on the outside. You see the slide-outs when you, if you look left or if you go to the right, you can see the front of this amazing unit, but there's one of the storage areas that we were talking about. Yep, yep, exactly. So you take a peek in there, you can see a ton of storage. You have a battery disconnect in there as well, so you can quickly just kill all the power. And like I was saying, Sean, you know, because you don't have that campsite slide that you often have on a front living, you get full awning coverage over this entire side. I mean, you know, a lot of times a little bit's taken away, but that's not at all the case on here. Uh, there we go, you can see a little bit better. Got a light in there, like I say, that battery disconnect. Good, good, uh, good space. Yeah, nice job with that, Fritz, and, and way to turn that around because that's the storage area that you can put your barbecues in there and you can put your sliding chairs and, and do all kinds of stuff. Fritz, if you can go to the right uh, just a little bit, I want to show uh, folks the outside front area oh, so that they can see not only the lights on this thing, but I want them to see this window that I, I was so excited about. Look at this. As, mm -hmm. uh, as you see this, you normally don't see a window on the front of a fifth wheel, and I fell in in love with this particular unit for that reason. Absolutely, Sean. It's, it's gorgeous. It lets in all that natural light. Um, and you know, a, cool, a couple other really cool things about the Sierra, talking about things you don't see very often, like this front windshield. Yeah. Uh, this one has camera prep, right? Not just backup camera prep. Yes. It also oh, yeah. has side camera prep, so that as you're driving, you can see your blind spots. Make sure you have enough room to switch lanes. And one of my favorites is above the entry door, there's another camera prep for a security camera. So you know how popular like uh, ring doorbells are now, right? Oh, so absolutely. if someone's at your door, you know who it is. You have the same capability now in your RV. You have a camera right above the, the entry door, so you know who's at your door. It's a very, very cool feature. Yeah, we're, we're gonna run out of, uh, out of time here, but this customer choice is absolutely perfect. There's your slide outs there. And again, more storage all the way around this incredible unit. We've seen so many different types, and I'm really glad, Chris, that you, or uh, I'm sorry, Ian, that you brought up the, uh, the cameras because yep. those are so important. Yep, yeah, yeah, auto level on this one, uh, outside fridge on the campsite. I mean, this thing is, it's, it's fully loaded. It is an excellent front living room. A great customer pick. Very well done, everyone. If you want to uh, get a pick in, all you do is text URVS to 46642. We put up four units every Sunday. You have until about Wednesday to make a decision. What a great customer choice this was today. And stick around. We're coming right back to wrap up today's events. From sunup to sundown, we are designing your next big adventure. Building your family vacation. Delivering your memories that will last a lifetime. We know it's more than just an RV, which is why we are working around the clock to bring over 80,000 RVs fresh from the factory to our stores, to your driveway or campsite. Built by Americans for Americans and starting at less than $5 per day. Click, call, or visit your local camping world today. How about that? Week four Day one in the great state of Texas where all the deals are bigger in Texas. We love that part. Sean Parr, I've got uh, my friend Tiffany over here from us, the Remingtons. Of course, the Jurgies, Bryce, Nellie, your favorite part of the day, Nellie? Uh, is everything an answer? Could yes. that be an answer? It is, no. of course. I love the family travel trailers. Anything family, I'm like all about it. And with some big kitchens and some of the bigger uh, trailers as well today, too. Kitchens? That you... Don't even get her started on kitchens. I know. Uh, Don't I get her started. I saw a couple of myself and I was like. I Ee! love it because her family's growing. Bryce, your favorite those part? Yeah, the big kitchens, but also the TVs that rise up, those front livings. I, We don't have that in our toy hauler, but it's okay. I love our toy hauler, but those I love. The greatest, I love those. And, and I think, and I agree with you because you and I were walking through some of these because you're we a lot taller than than I am, 
And you guys have a really big fifth wheel. I love your fifth wheel, by the way, with the kids and everything on the road. And when you go see these units, you see how much you can actually change. You see a, a unit that you say, Sean, if I only had some bunks, or Sean, if I didn't have the bunks, or if I had a center island, you could actually get one custom designed for you. And you've heard the boss say, we will beat any deal Absolutely. All you have to do is text deals to 46642. It's that simple. Today was just day one. Yeah. Wait until you see what we have planned for you <laughs> tomorrow and the next day. It's going to get intense. A little crazy here in this store. It's going to be good. It's uh, going to be good. And of course, one of the things that we were just shocked over is how much you can save uh, by coming to a Gander RV and Outdoor and a Camping World and yep. going to the retail section. I mean, I know you just dropped some serious dollars for, he got like three weeks of clothing for like $70 and we were both like jaw dropped. It was it's a shop to your drop kind That's of thing. That's where we're going right after this. <laughs> That's what I it's all about. on the counter. Of but course. I have to say, the customer choice, I'm going to keep coming back to it because when I got to walk through it, I am literally may just stay here. You guys have to continue the rest of the tour. It's, <laughs> it's a done deal. It's my new home. And I love the fact that we're able to kind of engage with folks at home as well because you guys are the ones that are choosing this. We get to just live the life of being able to walk through them and tour it yeah. with you guys. So yeah. thank the good you news for is, doing a great is job. They live the lifestyle. They live the lifestyle, and so do I. We've grown up living the lifestyle of what camping is all about, being out on the road. Here's the deal. My favorite part, and Nelly, you'll agree with this, oh, listening yeah. to you, seeing you with the comments. We see you, and we can't wait to see you right here tomorrow. Thank you so much for joining us for day one. Wait until day two, week four, from the great state of Texas.